Select your character! Oh! Okay. Yeah, we're here. We're here live. They uh, we, we started a little early. Uh, we had a quick little uh, hiccup on the timing, but we are here this week. Uh, Boston Bluebeat. Yeah, uh, oh, we're yeah. Bo Boston Bluebeat. This is uh, Fellow vs. Uh, Degenerate Quinn. Mm -hmm. uh, Degenerate Quinn has, is like an old school master team in the fire. He, he was part of the community when I joined in 2008. He was actually one of the first people I ever talked to in the season. So, yeah, so going, going in that way. Yeah, so like AC and Yeah. AC days at the very least. I'm not sure anyone in America ever played Slash. I don't know. I don't know. You can find a copy of it somewhere. I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, Jamie is, I believe, getting back into plus R, so I do not know how familiar she is with the, uh, with the Justice matchup. Fellow long, long time, uh, Boston Bluebeat at this point player for a plus R event. Yeah, fellow, uh, this is Thello's, uh, first, uh, 2021 Bluebeat, so... Yeah, Fellow taking the, uh, the first round there. De definitely looks like one of them is more familiar with this matchup than the other. But Jamie is a good player. We'll, uh, we'll see if she, she can figure it out uh, on the fly. Absolutely. So much time to convert off of that dust. Yeah, just into Michael sword there. Get the early knockdown block. Uh, bl blocks the Michael blade, but gets uh, opened up by the JH. And Bello takes the first game. <laughs> Furok referencing an old, old team name from like 2010. Team Maho Shoujo Slayer Chan. Gods. <laughs> Oh, right. now we have a stream in Discord for me to look at. Working. Now you're fine. Uh, no game audio? Oh, well. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, uh, fellow up a game here, but, uh, this is Guilty Gear. No, no one's really out until, until the set's over. Digging that, digging that person's brother. Jimmy getting Fellow in the corner rather early, but uh, but, but Justice is a big button, so she can break it at that. Michael Sword is a hell of a move to deal with. Uh, Craig, you back? I am, I just didn't want to jump in in the middle. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah. Alright, well, Fellow with a good. Oh, and the takes a burst as well, but a good, good way to keep the corner with that throw and take it for himself. He takes the round. Fellow now one round away from taking it over. Uh, Ooh, I like Nuke's doing like, a ton of work. Yeah, I like setting up the low nuke and then using Michael Sword to like police the air above it. Good knockdown. We'll see what the mix up is. And Fellow get, gets out. Using that counter. <laughs> really looking for what is it? The 
one of the one of the bridge's slash buttons is the diagonal yo-yo. I'm -yo, trying to catch that. Ah, oh, success. Yes. Or, oh, and me, my killing machine, oh, fell off. Hell of a super. He gets knocked back out. All right, blocks Michael Boy though. Yep, fellow, fellow keeping uh, Quinn out. Just great oh. use of the manual detonation to control the space. Oh, he's an opportunity, bye. There's a knockdown, but so doesn't get to confirm, and fellow JHs and takes the uh, first game of our night over Degenerate Quinn. But uh, this is double elimination, so Degenerate Quinn is not out of the tournament. Plenty of time to run something back, but good work by fellow. Absolutely. All right. Up next is, I believe, Pyrrhok and Flak. Yeah, Pyrrhok versus Flak Maniac. This should be some good times. Absolutely. Uh, both of these players, uh, when we have offline events, show up pretty frequently. Both been playing Guilty Gear for a long time. Uh, this is they played each other a ton, so this should be a good match. They both know the matchup. Yeah, absolutely. Like, Shirok, obviously a heck of a player in Testament, a heck of a character, but Flak Maniac is like the definitive student of the game kind of player, so he knows, knows it inside out, it's just going to be a matter of executing, hopefully. Absolutely. Yeah, Shirok uh, used to be a Robokai player back at Accent Corp, but after, after his stint playing Jacko and Exert, he has decided to play Testament in Blossar, and that oh, character I'd is... I would love to see some of that at oh, Robokai at him, though, that'd be fun. Mm -hmm. But yes, there's not. If you can, if you enjoy playing Testament and can do it, there is not really a good reason to not do so. He is very, very strong. He is. Oh, my scheme is telling me the flag just hopped on, so there he is. There you go. Both of Dang. these players are on the grind with more over 1,500 each. Look at this. Put a roll back in your games and people will play it a lot. Absolutely. We're going to heaven. Good stage. Unfortunately, we don't get to hear the justice music, but I can put meat again on myself. Think about it. I can feel it. <laughs> I love the little chibi, chibi character portraits. All right. Let's see what we got for a start here. Hmm. Oh. Wait. Do we have a start? Oh no. <laughs> for uh, teleporting out of the room. Ah, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Furok's buttons were off, or were wrong, so he uh, he left the match. He is fi fixing that, and she'll be back shortly. All right. Anyway, so while we've got while Furok's getting stuff fixed up, so this matchup, um, I mean, we know that Order Soul wants to get like wants time to get your wants to charge up, but that gives Testament so much time to set up a bunch of garbage, so that's like a tough thing to let him do. It is. Uh, fortunately, Testament does not have too much health, and uh, all of his reversals are are uh, he doesn't have a frame one to active reversal. So if if Flack can get the charge, Flack should be able to kill Kirok in just one or two mix ups. Yeah, as long as he gets himself in there, he's. I mean, he has. He's been. I as a. I talk play justice, and him talking about that matchup is as long as I can sneak in once to once to twice. I can. That's all I need. So I assume he's going to be taking the same approach here. Yep. Sneak in once, get the burst. Sneak in twice, get the kill. Uh, but Flax Flax uh, mentioned in the past that he feels pretty good about this matchup. So nice. we'll uh, we'll see how this shakes out. All right, for our back in business. Absolutely. Now we wait. <laughs> now we wait. Uh, and I do believe we have uh, Blaze Blue running tomorrow for anyone here who uh, is a Blaze Blue player. We do. Well, that bracket last I checked was getting pretty big as well. And our turnout's always really great in our Blaze Blue tournament, so show up. Absolutely. Yeah. If you, uh, if you want to play some Blaze Blue, we are running it tomorrow at uh, what time? Let me go. Six o'clock, I believe, is one of our Blaze Blue tournaments. Here. Six o'clock, rad. Let's see. Call. All right. Bear with us for a moment. Yep. Bear with us. We're having some uh, some technical lobby issues. Plus, our lobbies are not the most stable. Wow. We are already up to twenty two in entrance for Blaze Blue tomorrow. So stop by. Yeah, absolutely. Play some Blaze Blue. 
more than 20 people at a weekly is a uh, pretty big accomplishment. Oh yeah, Jack Sparkles is playing. Lovely. <laughs> the right password for a jam player. Or for academic such a hard time. But uh the match should be going on uh we should be getting this match running any minute now and uh then we get to watch some Order Soul for De vs. Testament, both characters that have not made it past the XX series. Neither of them have uh, made it into XRD, and neither of them are confirmed for Strive as of yet. I mean, I guess the... Huh. I mean, where is, one is, more character where is Testament at right now? Like, is Testament dead? Like, uh, I believe dead? Testament's just hanging out in the grove now that Dizzy's gone. I don't oh. think he's really, really plot important anymore, which is why we haven't seen him. But uh, I could it. be wrong. If anyone knows, tell me in Twitch chat. Because your figure lore is complete nonsense, and I would love to know the answer to that. <laughs> and, is, and Holy Order Soul, just he's not doing that anymore? He's not hanging out with them? No, he hasn't Respect. been in a Holy Order since riding an, anime, one. riding an anime motorcycle across <laughs> the desert or whatever he did in the opening to Exert. <laughs> After he turns his sword into a Zippo lighter. Yeah. Uh, what a good game. <laughs> uh, Doc mentioning one day he warranted and just never came back. And that's where Testament's at. He's just planting trees for himself. <laughs> Forever. Alright, let's get into it. Let's hope all Absolutely. the technical issues are behind us. Let's hope this Thanks works. This isn't fair. Testament bringing, uh, bringing a friend to the match. Oh. oh man, I wonder. I, I guess Farrakh would have known this color, his thing was wrong because the cover. <laughs> ah, yeah, that would make sense. Alright, oh, he's got the corner. Yep, Farrakh sure, putting Slack in the corner. Getting that, uh. Ooh, there's that 6k. One of the changes in plus R is, uh, Testament takes a huge step forward when he goes that move now. Giving him quite a few new, uh, a few, uh, new Gatling strings. Oh, he gets caught by the beast into the nets. Yep, uh, Farrakh. Been labbing a lot. Definitely has his confirms. This is this is right where he wants Black to be. Level one in the corner. Most of his health gone. Oh, and there's that curse. Everything coming up for Rock right now. Another beast set up. Absolutely. You get that uh, that forward warrant, which is a fake out. And then that force break curse. Another new move. Uh, it homes in on the opponent and curses them even on block. Oof. That is just such a brutal thing to have to deal with, especially when you're already on the back foot. Absolutely. Gerok takes the first round rather convincingly, but uh, again, Flax mentioned he feels pretty confident in the matchup, so we'll see if he can turn this around. Good blocks and use the ID to take the corner, so good stuff by Flax there. Absolutely. Ooh, ooh, catches the back near the corner, and that poison is going to be taken down. But luckily, Flax gets a hit in, so the poison goes away. Alright, he snuck in once, and now he's got he's in his face with a level. Oh, oh but gets counter. hit by another Warren. Uh, Warren, I believe the only counter in the game that hits high, low, and or uh, high, low, and projection. That's extremely empower. That's extremely powerful. And he gets a side switch out of it too. It's beautiful. Yep, and it comes out frame two. It's a very good counter. All right, you're on it. From his EX and he's out just trying to cover the stage, cover the stage with his little forest. But uh, one hit away from that. Another warrant, though. Yeah, he's been half, or he's been calling out those Fafnir's with warrant, but just one hit and a far slash. Black Maniac ties things up one round to one round. Sneaks out of the net. Furok also dying with full bar. Hate to see Absolutely, you do, but uh, you're off. I, I think correctly choosing to uh, not burst that round and save his first for round three. Yeah. Maybe also when he's when you're one hit from death. Oh, oh, there's the burst. Gets an opportunity. Oh, all that charge on the black side though. Yeah. Any one hit from black is uh, gonna make testament bleed. We've got some pretty strong uh, overhead mo tools right now. Gets the side switch though, now the corner is for us. Oop. Luckily uh hits hits Purox before that horse break curse can do its thing. And just like that, Purox helps him evaporate. Counter hit two eggs, this should do it, but he drops the combo. Oh, oh. that trade thought that might have killed him, but here we Ooh, are. Those counter hits. Purox one hit away from death, but uh other than that, everything else is coming up Purox. All he's gotta do is uh sit back and chip away at black. He's got 45 seconds. He's got another full... Oh, oh the big three. three! That's first now either character uh, yeah. one hit, and that does it. Furok 
manages to claw back from the brink of death. Wow, using the combos into the power up of his summons and uses the full power trees to make it happen. That was absolutely. Impressive. Even a character like Testament, who uh, generally wants to win the neutral game and uh, just keep that health lead, it's Guilty Gear. Anyone can come back from from one hit. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, but Flack, I mean, he said he was comfortable, and he can't feel too, too bad about that. I mean, it's heartbreaking to lose that close, but... But still, that was really close. That could have been Flack's game with just any any single hit, and he would have taken it. So, Flack is definitely not out here. Oh, Kyrok doing the color change. Now he's Green Testament. I do not like page. this color, actually. <laughs> All right, gets the charge from. Oh, he's just Ooh, one hit. Should have hurt, but uh, first the uh, the level three charge doesn't get him. And he's all ordered. Stuck this in is, all his net. Yep. This is this is right right where Kirok wants him. He gets hit good. by the six heavy knockdown of the EXE piece. Spends the burst, but gets hit by an EXE piece. Kirok with these solid confirms off the EXE piece. Where's Flash gonna get all these little purple alligators? He is a just. I don't know. If, his success rate for warranting on these Fafnirs is approaching 100%. Yeah. It's incredible. Black's definitely going to have to uh, shake up his offense because Furok's, Furok's calling them out over and over. The angel from the crow is like a really obnoxious pink color. So now I need for, uh, I need Black to get cursed so I can see that again. Oh, oh yeah, the, the, the succubus? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You're off, uh, no, known for uh, playing colors in this game and trying to hide stuff. So this he is a big turn in a play for his fault. There's a successful back here, but not a big turn off. He gets hit by the Grave Digger. Grave Digger is, I believe, in Bone Frame 3, so it's not quite a, uh, a, a DP, but it, it is in the pretty fast if you mess up your meaty timer. And it looks like Kyrok is probably going to take. Nope, does not kill. Commentator's curse. But oh. there it is. Oh, it looked like he was looking at the wrong bar, and those were supposed to be Fafnir's. Yeah, he just takes it over Flak 2 0. Farak definitely settling down and get taking command there in that second game. Absolutely. Kirok wins that handily, but uh, just like last time, Flak is not out, and he's got an entire loser bracket to uh, to get get back to Furok and get that uh, get that rematch. All right, well, and I mean, Flack, so, real, real close there. Like he's got, I mean, he was, he's definitely got a lot of his offense called out. But when he did get his hits, he had some pretty solid confirms up there. So, looking Absolutely. forward to. Seeing seeing him come back around and well show some people up. Oh, we've got Doc. We've got a honey baked ham in here. I don't know who this Doc Doc guy is. <laughs> we do have an entire honey baked ham here. Mm. I, I hope that ham has not been sitting around since Christmas. I know it's traditional, but it's it's been a couple weeks at this point. That's oh, and we got Jace coming in to take a bite out of said ham. <laughs> Uh, and I do oh, yeah. believe that this is going to uh, give us Potemkin versus Bridget. Yes. Uh, <laughs> this and should be an interesting matchup for uh, for all of us. I don't know how well versed uh, Doc is in the Bridget match. Doc Buck has played a fair bit against Teto, one of our local, you know, shout out to Teto, tournament organizer, big, a good, very important member of the scene, plays Bridget. That I have been in plenty of lobbies with them playing each other. Doc Buck does not enjoy this matchup one bit. <laughs> No, I, I have heard that it is quite bad for Potemkin, but uh, I play neither of these characters, so I do not I do not personally know. No matter how, like, you know, he might be better than he is in Exert, he might have all these cool moves that vacuum you in, but if there's a little kid, like, literally jumping up, flying in the air on the other corner of the screen, there's really <laughs> the not a ton you can do! This small child is trying to build a, tea or a tree house above the screen. Like, unfortunately, Pot cannot get up there, no matter how heavenly his Potemkin <laughs> are. <laughs> But let's see how this goes. Wow, Bridget tripping Potemkin. But that does do a slide hit knockdown, I think. <laughs> now, Jace, right. one of the better Bridgets in the country, at least, uh, almost certainly, is, uh, has played this match with the most thing they should be doing here. Gets hit by the Roger. Jace takes a, takes a pretty substantial life lead early on. Grabs the first, gets the lead. Now, all he really needs to do is just run away for the. <laughs> for the Jagged, jagged uh, Roger. 
Yeah, Bridget just dancing outside of Potemkin's, uh, Potemkin range. The chase is on. He's just gonna try. There you go, he gets a slide head for a knockdown. This Good might be the opening. Time. It's gotta be it, but nope, Chase kicks back to it out, but he's in. Uh, but they're in the corner. This, this could be it. Doc got a chase down, but Chase was able to escape. Doc blocking the, uh, blocking the blocker. Nope. Does, does not want to get hit by that teddy bear. There you go, heavenly to get in there, but Chase just... Luckily, if Potemkin does manage to get in, uh, Bridget, uh, Bridget is, I believe, gun zero and has quite low health, so... Great air one or two hits. Oh, air throw into back, the rod for the kill. Back to back strong air throws by Jace, like, knowing that Pot has to get in there somehow. Absolutely. Oh, Jace, uh, getting a, getting a knockdown off round start. And just fully Potemkin in the corner. So high in the sky, Pot's just doing his best, but cannot. Oh, absolutely! Counterhead that drops the combo. Blocks the sliding Roger and tries to move forward again. The thankless march resumes. Oh, but the Roger is behind. And blocks the burst. Great stuff by Chase. <laughs> Chase once again with a large life lead, just staying outside of the Tempkins uh, threat range. Does not need to go in. Spinning up the yo-yo so he can turn it active right when he's walking past it. That'll start with masterful control of that yo-yo. And here's the here's the me my killing machine. Oh, the cross up doesn't quite kill, but there we go. The uh the yo-yo recall for the for the kill and Jace takes the first game of the set. Wrong stuff by Jace. Just ugh, that that me and my killing machine, just brutal stuff when you have to deal with Bridget zipping around all over. Very strong super and I believe it sticks around uh even if Bridget gets hit, uh on frame one or frame two, something pretty early. Oh. Very cool, and obviously Jay's taking advantage of the solid movement to make that very, very difficult to block. Absolutely, yeah. Jace takes uh, takes that that first game with uh, ra rather rather commanding. All right, let's see if there are. I mean, this is a difficult situation for Doctor Bean, but that's a strong slide head. To give him a good position right away, but oh, yeah, he just needs to make the right read once or twice. But uh, we'll we'll see if Doc can adjust. Keep in the corner, but Bridget can just get so high in the air. It's so difficult to lock this guy. Absolutely. Uses the yo-yo to beat up, beat the hammer fall armor along with the attack. Strong stuff. Attempting losing about half his health trying to get in. Hasn't, hasn't hit Bridget yet. They, they're once again dancing almost full screen away. The Temkin with no forward dash, no air dash. It's, it's so hard to get in. Nice Ooh, flick on Roger. I love it. Absolutely. Oh, but the great air throw by Jace. Doc's got these flicks, but they're just not paying out as much as I love you. Like Bridget, uh, unfortunately, does not need to be in the same horizontal space as Flick, uh, unless he really wants to. Jace clearly only going to be in Potemkin's threat range with a very good reason. Absolutely. Flip the Jagged Roger and one more hit will, uh, and Jace will take it over Honey Baked Ham here. Ooh, gets hit by the Jagged Roger. Jace now one round away from, ta or, uh, from taking the game. Burst, burst for Doc Fox, slash Honey Baked Ham. Oh, oh gets a buster. Here's how it starts. This could be, this could be it. Next off. Oh, Looks like uh, something that's blocked there is DK and did nothing. Wonder can't, be, can't be having those Can't be baiting bursts. Like <laughs> can't be baiting bursts. <laughs> oh, here we go, gold burst, all the meter oh, in the world. But Starship. The strong arrow. arrow. Ooh, there's the, the mix-up from Bridget. What's the combo? Because a big chomp is going to hurt. Not fair. Jace just rocks all of these. Absolutely. It's the hammerfall, though. Like, even the couple of hits that... Pot has gotten, have added up. Ooh, heavenly Whips. Uh, Jace blocks the JD, but uh, Bridget is in the corner. This is... If Doc's gonna be able to do anything, it's gonna be here. But, oh, gets opened up by the me and my killing machine, and Jace takes it over Doc. 2-0. Great mix, strong stuff. Absolutely. Good work by Jace. <laughs> Build a block string. <laughs> All right, and uh... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, JMT. <laughs> uh, and up next we have, uh, and our round two games. It looks like we've got Skeleton Min Skeletal Minion versus Undersea Magic, and the Nuclear Cheese versus uh, Lofo.
Uh, which game do we have coming up next? Is it a uh, skeleton man? Dang, this practice got cool stuff in it. I'm loving this. It does. We've got Skeletal Minion versus uh, Undersea Magic coming up next. Skeletal Minion, a uh, longtime plus R player, quite probably the best ABBA in the country, uh, has an EVO championship under their belt. Great player. Have shown up to these very tournaments and taken some money from the best. Keep showing up to New England events and taking our money. <laughs> I'm gonna give a. I'm gonna jump in here, JMD, jumping in quick to give a little shout out to uh, another event that Skeletal Minion uh, is a team captain part of the TSB Magnum Opera event uh, coming up next uh, next month. I know Skeletal's the captain of their area, uh, so they're still they're gonna be running an LCQ in February. So y'all should uh, go take a look at that too. They're also gonna run a Sweet Plus R bracket next month. JMD on my team. Anyway, um, be some incredible guilty gear. Absolutely. Uh, honestly, the, ever since ever since we got rollback, there have been plus R events firing like every week, two or three of them. You want to play plus R? You can play at most any night tournament. I feel underprepared that I, in that I don't. I'm not familiar with Undersea Magic. Are do we know who Undersea Magic pull is? Uh, I guess we're uh, about yes. Uh, they're a fast player. I believe they've entered our events once or twice before. Uh, I, my memory is terrible, so uh, oh, it was I should be able to confirm correct. that and can't. <laughs> it's however perfectly correct. So let's go for this. Absolutely. Uh, I know that Skeletal Minion uh, has talked about this matchup once or twice before, and. Uh, general consensus seems to be that this matchup is in Faust's favor. Faust is very good at converting to a knockdown. Very strong in this game. But uh, if Abba touches you, he will kill you. Yeah, Faust has all of the tools in the world to control space, but Abba doesn't need much. <laughs> oh, and uh, this is going to be quite a lot of damage. There's the Goku Moroha there. Oh, is this going to kill? Nope. Uh, <laughs> Not quite, but just one more hit, and the, uh, the fast unblockable Skeletal Minion takes the first round. Goku Roha making Is It Gonna Kill questions. <laughs> Very hard to answer. Absolutely. <laughs> Gotta say, I love this fast pass. I'm coming, I'm coming around on it. Alright, gets the key transform. Oh, and, and the corner. Roha in the corner. This is, this is exactly what he wants to do. And oh, drops the orb. It's a throw, alright. Undersea Magic. There's one knockdown, uh, and Abba is almost out of Moroha, but gets the throw. This should be a, a confirm back. Well done. And back into Moroha, started back up, but full meter on fast side. Oh! Goku oh. Moroha to take the first, but snap it! Neither of them hit each other, but it uh, looked like Abba recovered first. Ooh, first break, Dantai gets hit by the poison. Both these players are really low health, but Skeletal Minion opens up Undersea Magic and takes it one or and takes the first game. Everything just ends so fast. Oh, we're back into it so fast. The pace. A absolutely. Too much. Guilty Gear, incredibly high damage game. This is a... Uh, yeah. High damage, high momentum. This is this is the high octane fighting game. Gokumaroha is about as high damage as you're going to get. It's great yes, to be able to look uh, at an Abba who killed you and be like, well, their life bar is really low. At least it was... <laughs> oh, wait, no. <laughs> yes, at least you will almost certainly not get perfected by Abba. Unless things go really bad. Uh, Undersea Magic getting an early knockdown. Ooh, gets hit by the scalpel pole. Now, uh, you are a fast player in extra, correct? Hey, I definitely am that. Um, oh, bomb, bomb is in play. I, and the Meteors, I actually did not notice those coming up. But about as strong of a life lead as Magic can hope for, but... Yep, uh... First up. Up. Oh, gets kind of hit by that jump heavy. That's gonna be a grip of damage. What's the mix-up? Does not get opened up, but oh, gets hit by the Goku Maraha. This, yeah. this is probably you, gonna you kill. You may well be dead. Oh, tech's out. Dead angle's out. Last chance saloon. Oh, transform the key back. Uh, get that fourth break slide. Abba oh, gets was a that little a... bit of help, help back from uh, coming back. And now Abba's in Maraha mode. Ooh, tries to 5 deep through uh, the pressure, but doesn't quite get there. And Skull oh, bringing now one round away from uh, taking uh, taking it over Undersea Magic. That Undersea run-up, jumping 2k, looked like it might have been an attempt to drill cancel JK, but nothing. Meteors in play! Oh, there's the Meteors. Big damage. Did a, did a fair chunk of damage. Fausta is quite probably the best he's ever been in this game. He's very strong. He is incredibly, incredibly strong. I believe... Ooh, another donut, though. I mean, I think that the odds 
from Exer, Exer 2 plus R, the uh, odds of item being hitbox right away are higher, but not high enough. Ooh. That is dead. Oh, the kill or combo kills. Abba can spend 50 meter in a blood pack to uh to uh let her cancel any of her buttons into any of her buttons. That is absolutely brutal. And just using the op the startup of Goku Maroha to like avoid a various attacks and or bursts. That's just brilliant timing on that stuff. And well, I mean, Skeletal showing why Skeletal takes her money. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, next we have Nuclear Cheese versus Lofo. Uh, versus Lofo. Nuclear Cheese has been around uh, since uh, since time began. A uh, long-standing Guilty Gear player in the New England scene. <laughs> Volcanic Viper right out of the primordial ooze. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been much, said much. Nuclear Cheese waking up with Tyrant Rave is what caused the Big Bang. Ugh, it is a loud enough sound that I believe it. <laughs> um, so, I mean, Nuclear Cheese is as, about as aggressive as you can get, just redlining at pretty much all times. So, let's see how prepared Lofo is for that kind of play. I'm going to admit another bit of unfamiliarity and that I don't know who Lofo plays. Also not aware, but we're going to see quite. We uh, find out. Yeah, pretty shortly. Uh, there are 25 characters. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess Order Soul. I think that's the safest money I can, I can put down. Hmm, that's a probably a pretty fair bet. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna say Anji because I'd love to see some Anji. more Anji players in Guilty Gear. I'm excited to see uh, see who picks up Anji and Stride. Yeah, Anji would be fun. And I mean, obviously, I, I always love to watch you talk about Anji because of the knowledge and the, you know, the love of the character. But let me think. Let me see. I want Who do I most want to see? Let's see. I would love to see ABBA, and also, I don't think we're going to see ABBA. I want a Robokai. Robokai was in the Exert story mode, right? It's kind of weird that he yeah. never showed up, but... Oh, oh yeah. Yes. All right, here we go. Please Moment of truth. Absolutely. Dizzy. Dizzy. All right, that cool. is neither of the characters I said, or even close. Yeah, not even close, but this is going to be great. Father-daughter cage match here. Yeah, I mean, let's see. I mean, I was, I was going to say, let's see how Nuclear Cheese can navigate all this nonsense, but... Running face first through it is as good as. Uh, round round start Grand Viper, that's my guess. Please. Can we get that? Oh, Bandit Bringer! That's the counter hit! Yes, Switch your slow phone in the corner. Bandit Bringer plus one in this game. Slightly more advantageous than it was in, uh, or than it is in Act 2. Brutal. Level 6 moves. No, he knocked down. No interest at all in letting Lofa get set up, but. Absolutely. Uh, Dizzy also quite probably the strongest she's ever been in this game. Yeah, watching her give multiple commands to a Ooh, headshot, first sound. <laughs> right back into the corner, keeps the pressure up, tries to backdash, but gets caught. What? Can Ooh, look? nuclear cheese showing why uh, so bad guy is secretly a grappler, and there's the Grand Viper, and gets hit by the JH, nuclear cheese takes the first round. It's Frecker, we have seen it so many times, and it is just brutal. Absolutely. Comes in with, comes in with the JPs, gets the gets the vice volcanic viper. Ooh, nuclear <laughs> back here, knockdown. Ooh, nice, nice escape in the corner. Volcanic viper. Never a dull moment with nuclear cheese on screen. Like Lufo just trying to get, trying to take a breath, trying to get a chance to do anything, but cheese is not interested. He's definitely one of those players where you have to know how he plays to even even really get. <laughs> To get things going through. There you go, good Dizzy's J2S is down again here. But, uh, Cheese is having none of it. Gets the counter hit JD, does not confirm it to a full combo. Ooh, but there's the Bandit Bringer. Bad burst, and Nuclear Cheese is going to take the first game 1 0 over Lofo. Alright. Lofo got a couple of chances there, but it also kind of already looked like Cheese started to anticipate the timing for air dashing out of the corner. And forget that whole Dizzy nonsense, it's Cliff time. <laughs> it is Cliff time. Let's go! Absolutely. Right. What 0% is Cheese going to adjust his approach to the 
Ah, uh, no, uh, my, my man's you. been hitting training mode. Oh, yeah. Dude has been putting the time on. Here we go. Cliff, a completely different approach. This Absolutely. Yeah. Both of these characters really high, uh, very high damage. Uh, both of them big bugs. So, uh, ooh, and we get a wild throw early on. Oh, another... Ooh, but get the throw. Combo off the throw. Get that knockdown. That's Yoki. That move is very plus, but he does not care. Boom, headshot. Uh, drops the loop. Clear trying to dash his way in. Alright. Drills into the corner. This is as favorable position as you're gonna get. Absolutely. The bandit bringer is out. Got threw out just one too many of those fried eggs. Got bandit egg. Trying to bring it over it. But another throw. <laughs> Like he's been going to Denny's for years, he does not, or he knows how to deal with those fried eggs. Ooh. Is the sword? Gets hit by Nuke Saddle is the name of that. There you go. Ball move and boom, headshot. Boom, Side headshot. Side for the finish. Nuclear cheese one round away from taking it over uh, Lofa. I look, the dresser does seem to be helping out, but just cheese still making that, but who uses the sway? Uh, I, I... I agree, Jamie. I also miss our late night Denny's trips. Some old, old New England guilty people for you. <laughs> God the lore, and I love it. <laughs> Another great throw. Oh, oh, like, I mean, character switch doesn't oh. really matter. There, Dizzy oh, has got the Dizzy combo, but he's shaky now. He switches to Cliff, but Dizzy is still here. Uses the sword wiggle. Sword wiggle, good DP. Bandit revolver. 5k, back to being three frames now that we're in XX and not in XX. Oh, you positioned just right to punish that Nape Saddle and Tyrant Rave. There's the yeah. Tyrant Rave. It's got some some suffix attached to it because it's not as normal super. Night Rave Vortex. Um, <laughs> that was great stuff by Cheese. Some good adjustments by Lofo, but not quite, not quite enough to get the job done. Absolutely. Excited to see, uh, to see multiple cliffs. Cliff is a very unique character that also has not made it into any newer versions of Guilty Gear. Oh, right. And, I mean, Cliff, I was about to say, well, Cliff is dead, but Cliff was dead when this game came out. <laughs> so, Cliff's long gone, but we just love him anyway. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that, JMD? We're running a uh, fellow over Skeletal menu? That's an exciting matchup. Let's see Absolutely. how this one. Absolutely. Uh, Skeletal Minion, top player, and Fellow, also an incredibly good player, has been uh, consistently top three in our events whenever they show up. Yes. Yeah, so fun fact. Justice player. Credit to Fellow. Fellow is the reason why I play Justice in Plus R. Why Fellow Ooh. in these very events? I was just like, I was kind of in a trying to figure things out mode when, the, when Plus R got rollback and watching Fellow play. I was like, this looks like a lot of fun. And. And I started playing and have not looked back, so thank you, fellow, if you're watching this ever. Alright, and we've got our... Oh yeah, this is our top eight, nice. Oh yeah, this is our top eight. Excellent. Our top eight winners has been filled out. Losers oh. are still developing, but top eight winners is in play. And we jumped into the match early, uh... Uh, names haven't quite adjusted, but here's Skeletal Minion and, and Fellow, uh, Abba vs. Justice. You can see Both the helpful these... names and Steam tags. <laughs> yes. Alright, well, I mean, not that different than what we were talking about with Abba vs. Faust. Justice has the tools to control the screen, but those, you those, get touched. Those nukes knocked down have to be quite good, but uh, Skeletal Minion gets an early Moroha transformation. And Fellow get put in the blender, but Fellow one knockdown, two knockdown, There's another knock one, and sets up the nukes. That oh, first. and another knockdown. Doesn't quite get the IK. Still gonna do a massive chunk of damage. Fellow with a huge life lead here. Goku Moroha at full screen. Not exactly what he wants. Dodges. Oh, it gets tagged by the Imperial Ray in the back. I'm glad you know the name of that super because I know it's something wrong. That's right. <laughs> I'm good for something. All right. Oh, and the Just counter! The with the Ray Romano. Yeah. The reverse <laughs> captain sword. Um, and Gang gets the counter to finish the round. Absolutely. And Fellow that's taking, uh, first person to take a round off. Skeletal tonight, I believe. Yeah. I mean, that's the precarious thing about Abby. You keep your life so low if you get tagged in your horrible Goku Moroha pressure. You might be dead. But... Absolutely. Here we got the red uh, Ooh, this is reset to the unblockable. This is going to do a massive chunk of damage. You might be dead. 
Uh, fellow not the fight. Not the first year, but the likelihood, the likelihood this year is too high. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, but that gets, gets a knockdown. And forced to do the manual transformation. Nice use of the nukes. Uh, Ooh, but doesn't quite get coming. Abba notoriously difficult to combo. He's both very small and quite heavy. But, uh, fellow. Pulling the cell Go for the gamma ray! Abba! What a god! Takes I mean, the has got that flashing bar. Hey. Untransformed Ava must be one of the few characters on the in this game who cannot punish Emory <laughs> by the guess, because how is it gonna get to you? But it does have a very, very slow air dash. Uh no matter who wins this game, I'm just glad we got to see Gamma Ray. Alright, good. Alright, stuck in the calendar. Oh, nice throw and the transformation. Ooh, we got those Abba fuzzies, and this is gonna be a pile of them. Justice is a tall ass uh, character, uh, very difficult to block it. And then great use of the Michael Sword. Absolutely, one more knockdown, but we're gonna get the Goku to reset the bar. Ooh, gets killed by that J. What? Blocks the counter hit. Uh, expecting a throw there is my guess. Uh, I don't think this is gonna kill him because Justice got five, but I could be wrong. Nope. And one's back. And then back. Back. back again. Break. Donzai. Skeletal Minion takes the first game over Thello, but a hell of a game. Yeah, this is this is great stuff. Thello, we're definitely fighting back to keep keep control, but Skeletal will not let will not be kept at bay for that long. Absolutely. All right, so now I mean we'll see. I mean Thello seems to have the game plan of what he needs to do here, but there but Skeletal's just just Skeletal sneaking in attacked. just enough. And obviously knows this knows Abba inside and out, knows when to use like Okamura to, as you said, reset the bar before when there's one knockdown away. Absolutely. Ooh, early hit. Ooh. Doesn't quite get the transformation cash. Uh, He's gotta use the board bag. Spends one of the blood packs, but getting that corner pressure. Fellow jumps out and packs uh packs stealthily with the microphone. Blocks the nuke. Was thinking that might be another knockdown, but here we are. Absolutely in this Oh, oh and great use of the counter. Oh, and there's that Goku Moroha. We set that bar, but get hit by the Michael Sword. Fellow's full okay. screen doesn't like what Fella wants to do. And One gets knocked out. Throws these nukes out to control space. Oh, oh great oh, navigation of the nuke, though. Beautiful air dash between the low. Drops the combo. Oh, gets gets the low. Transform. Gold burst. Gold burst knocking Abba down. Which gets too high in the sky. That actually might have been a time for Imperial Ray to make another appearance. Last chance for Bello. Burst to keep <laughs> corner. <laughs> Who gets hit by that by that Maroha sweep and Skeletal Minion one one round away? Set up the nuke. Absolutely gets tagged. Bello's composure will not will not break. Though. All right, that one knockdown there with the nuke and got corner. There's another one. Another knockdown. One more and uh not enough go. meter to go into Goku, so yeah, we got a combo with lots of that six B, but Bella still at a substantial life again. Great blocks by Skeletal on all these nukes. Absolutely. Bella gets tagged and uh this the open hurt. Hurt. Ooh, the goat the unblockable into Goku. Might be the only opening that is needed, goes from one corner to the other. Gets the unblockable setup but looks like baiting yeah. something. That angle. Uh, and Fellow takes the round over Skeletal Man. That Michael Blade. Looks like there might have been an effort to run up for Paul's defense break, but didn't quite get the job done. Yep. Nope. Watch the key grab, gets a knockdown. And here we are, blood packed up. Fellow just trying to dance right outside of Abbott's range, but Abbott's button is so large. So there are two knockdowns already. Gets hit by the FD Donside. This is going to go right back into normal mode for us. And blood packed up again. Tries to punch the punish it. Gets one knockdown. Baits the baits the Donza, but no punish. But yeah, one more knockdown. Bet you yes, a heck of a button, of course. And then absolutely throwing it out there with a good confirm to Michael Sword, but absolutely Maroha. Apple getting some health back from the Goku transformation. Nice force for her. Dead angle. Words. <laughs> oh, that bro is going to be pain. It's hurt. Ooh, oh, but gets out. Justice is light despite being uh, 400 feet tall. The burst! Oh, oh and air dashes into the nuke! Oof. 
What a game. That was 1-1. One, one. one hit away from death there, but did Absolutely. not shake him. Kept the composure, used the right nuke for the approach vector, and that was that. Unflappable. And not flapped. The deciding game. This is a this has been a heck of a set, I'm enjoying this. Alright, let's see what we've got. Both players have gotten a chance to show their game plan. Guilty Gear just an incredibly hype game when everyone knows what's going on. And like these characters are basically being being piloted to you, you get to see what these guys are capable of. These characters are sick. Absolutely. Oh great. Gets kind of her first lap, but uh, not much. Pop it! Sweeps three times, finally catches the slide. What do you Here's got? Raha. Goes for a counter, no punish. Not hit with a counter, but gets a micro sword for an early knockdown. Just wants to keep wants to keep Abba on her on her toes. Ooh, there's the Goku transformation. Does not get punished. You never like to transfer transform with a nuke right in your face, because you can't right run up right after it. Slide the corner. Oh, and there's the Michael Blade. Bello is now one round from taking it over Skeletal Man. Alright, what do we got? Use the Blood Pack early. Runs in there, avoids the Michael Swords, gets the. Gets the. Right oh, Ooh, another hit. That up by the throws. Absolutely. Skeletal Man has Bello right where he wants him, but. Ooh, gets thrown. Justin has an absurd throw range. Gets hit again. And the counter Goku. just trying to do the ground balance. Not dead, but one more hit. Unblockable setup of Michael Blade. Get that knockdown. Skeletal Man uses stands for life lead, but again, no, they're not here. Oh, and blocks the burst. the burst, and there's a knockdown, the knockdown too. <laughs> Use the superior trance to get the hit you can get. What an air throw! Still, oh, just like one solid hit away from death. Almost no meat on skeletal side. Oh, and and Bello! Bello takes it over Skeletal Minion. Outstanding play there. Absolutely. Just taking more and more command as that set went on. It seems like he got into a comfort zone or just keeping Abba out. Just some incredible patience there. Great great stuff by both players though. Absolutely. Don't think you're such a such a great game. Yeah, that is the first time that Skeletal has lost in a Boston booby bracket. This bracket in our tournament, a new experience for them, but a, a resounding shout of yes from Black Maniac on the on the Twitch stream. <laughs> All right, Skeletal Minion, definitely something of a of a boogeyman, but uh, definitely not out of this event. And those two may see each other again. Uh, up next, we've got Jace versus uh, Nuclear Cheese. They, I believe, played each other in every every single bracket that uh that Jace has been in. They they both taken games off each other. Generally, a a hype close set. Absolutely. Nuclear cheese, the tools and the and the absolute desire to chase down a Bridget. Let us see what we've got here. Your oh, be hype. Nuclear cheese chasing down Bridget with sheer willpower alone. Willpower and fiery fists. <laughs> Did Soul lose any moves in uh in Strive? Does Soul have Bandit Bringer still? I believe so. Um, I also believe that yeah. Lost Sidewinder, so it doesn't have his uh his accent core unique move, but has everything else. And a fifty percent wild throw, so whatever. <laughs> I mean, that's the same as always, just with less stats. <laughs> Alright. Soul always been a grappler. Uh nuclear T's taking Taking an early life lead, but early burst to fresh. Don't want to get hit by that spark. Yep. Wake up, grand viper gets knocked down by Jace. What's the next up? Ooh, run up slow. That yo yo right on top. Jeez. Absolutely, but Jesus is unfazed. The right turn. And man, riot stance gets knocked down. Uh, both both characters roughly even life bars. Uh, that angle. Ooh. Jace does not get hit by the 5 he probably would have killed. Uh, Jace, a bit of a, or Jace has the life lead. Ooh, Ooh, good anti air on Riot. Takes, uh, takes Nuclear Cheese down in the first round. Nicely oh, done. Absolutely. Let's, uh, let's see if we get the, the adjustment from Cheese. I know he's, uh, he's been labbing the matchup a bit. Gets him with Banner Burner, but, uh, 
Jace was playing patient, playing cool. Yeah, great defense by Jace. Looks like they'll know, they know that they'll get some opportunity to do some damage again. Just keep this monster at bay. Dead angles, gets the gunflame hit. Ooh, gets counter hit, but no combo off. Ooh, all right. Volcanic Viper for the knockdown. Gets the corner OP, but nope, gets a uh, attack. Nice side of it. I think the side switch might have actually been Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blocks the Volcanic Viper. I got a corner. Uh, Fridge are not the highest damage. Or not the highest damage. But still, solid combo off the uh, of the card. Nice bird, Volcanic Viper. Jeez, with a ton of meter. Uses to get some Gunslam RC for pressure, nice. Haven't seen a single pilot there yet, but uh, it's coming. Ooh, but Jace gets the air throw, and Jace takes a uh, first game over Nuclear Cheese. Jace's air throw game, still on point. They have got those. Absolutely. I uh, actually do not know how large Bridget's uh, air throw is. I'm not certain about Bridget's throw range either, but Jace is making it look like it is very, very strong. All right, Cheese. You've got two, at least, at least one, if not two more games to show us around Star Grand Viper. Absolutely. I don't remember where in the Dust Loop wiki air throws are, so Heaven I'm not lying. Duel. <laughs> Let's rock. Ooh, guys, get an early knockdown. Sets up a uh, sets up a yo yo. Gets the roll into an overhead. Large chunk of damage. Nuclear cheese. Oh, look at that guilty hero. Set overhead. Popper cuts through Roger, but does not actually get him out of there. Jace definitely nice, Riot Ooh, Stand. good counter hit Riot Stand, but no combo. Jace definitely looks comfortable with Nuclear Cheese's game plan. Good counter hit. Picked up what, uh, what Cheese li likes to be doing in the uh, previous map. Ooh, Clash with Volcanic Light for a mix with Kale. I forget what that suit was called. Uh, boy. Shoot the loop, nice. Ooh, oh, yeah. so, all right, good sweep and the falling Roger. No quite, uh, quite a few rigid attacks are named after yo-yo techniques, but unfortunately, I know nothing about yo-yos. Yeah, yo-yo, yo-yo tricks and Motley Crue songs. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the two things. Yes. <laughs> all right, that movement. Ooh, that that movement, that JD there. Incredible play for Jace. Uh, life bar is about equal. Nuclear cheese going in. Wants that fresh. Look at that chip damage from the, the tyrant wave. Glowing dark Hard bar. Ooh, gets counter hit by that. This should. Who doesn't quite <laughs> do it? Brutal. Oh, so much oh, damage. Uh, Looks like dead angle into a to a JK. Oh, that was that was incredible damage. Our pick. How do you got a corner? Uh, Jace put in the in the corner early. Uh, Air dash from step for JP. Jace is just one round away from taking nuclear cheese. Uh, gotta, gotta come back to this, but absolutely. He's fighting for his winner's back in life here, but he's got Jace cornered. Absolutely, get the counter hit. He's keeping that knockdown. Ooh, DP is the wild bro. FRC into a combo. Did not know there's a corner. Not, not the most damaging combo in the world, but definitely got them out of the corner, which is a great start. Yo-Yo <laughs> set up, Riot <laughs> Stamp. Almost full screen Riot That 60 frame overhead at that point. Hey, if you know where the Yo-Yo is, you have the position, Absolutely. you can make it happen. Ooh, freaky stuff something. Ooh, what happened first by Jesus, this could be it. Not quite. But the gun plane is blocked, nuclear cheese does Grand Viper, RC, run up, wild throw. Oh, oh it looks like... Is one hit away. Looks like Cheese was convinced that burst was going to happen. But Jace held it. I was convinced too. Oh, and there's the JP. JP. JP's to take the... T oh, so close. That was... Incredible JP there. Some ten games, both players are <laughs> one one. Both Jeez, of our players. I'm sure Cheese would have felt that all the way if baiting that burst hard ended up being the being the decider, but ended up closing it out anyway. Absolutely. And look at little Bridget in the corner there. He's so happy. Fun fact: that until I saw that chibi, I had no idea that the thing around Bridget's waist was like a handcuff. Oh yeah, it's a big handcuff. 
symbolic, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's symbolic, of course. <laughs> it's probably got some words written on it. It's a metaphor! Alright, got some... It's some a metaphor. Some, some Buzzsaw Rogers and some gun points. Absolutely. Put some hitboxes out there and see what happens. Ooh, good falling Roger. I recently got to see uh, someone... Someone took all of the, the phrases to, uh, that are written on characters and excerpt and just like put them all into a single file and uh... Whew, some of them are nonsense, I love them all. Still think they're great. Shots just great. Uh, I think Ram Huckles was my favorite. Uh, shout out to Guilty Gear 2 Valentine though. Sugar and non-sugar being written on her giant cups are my actual favorite Guilty Gear thing. That's outstanding, alright. <laughs> Jace. Nice block, Jace. Absolutely. Getting that chip damage. Uh, Tyrant Ray off Baffney, I believe, I've been trying to get on it by. Another blinking guard bar, but fighting out. Absolutely. That jump back, JS there. Get the, the Tyrant Ray. I'm just going to call that Omega, I guess. I don't think it's Beta. I think that's the right course. Jace doing a great job staying composed despite being relatively low health. Guess. Absolutely. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, oh, just realized the names are back there. Oh, well. You he know, like, who? <laughs> well, Jace? With, um, Jace without the... Without the ability to just play back, because there were only five seconds left in that round. Absolutely. Br Bridget great at timer scanning, but uh, unfortunately, sometimes you need to make the comeback. comeback. You, you need the light. You need the light. Uh, but this round is uh, not going like that. J Jay's taking an early life lead and he's taking a clear piece of hope. Ooh, but gets caught by the timer lane. Right? The damage. Uh, nuclear she's one round away from taking over Jace, and uh, now with the substantial life lead of the run. Nice 2H, but no big counter combo off of it. Luckily, didn't counter that or else uh, that combo would be good. Chase does not get opened up by the time of Ray. Ray blocks and escapes the corner, but still needs to make this comeback happen. Nice use of the air dash. Ooh, great top end frame by for this. Probably gonna do it. Boom, headshot. And too heavy, and Nuclear Cheese takes it over Jace. Impressive. Whew. Powerful stuff by Cheese. Whew. And Nuclear Cheese advances to the winner's bracket. Chase uh, goes on to loser's top 8 up. I think so. Well, I guess if it, if you were in winner's top 8 and you lost, you would not fall out of top 8, I suppose. Oh yes, that is how <laughs> That'd be a real bummer. Look, I'm a, fi I, I'm a fighting game player. I don't know how math works. <laughs> Alright, so I've what? never blocked a plus frame move in my life. <laughs> Alright, so what are we running now? Oh, I just realized the Twitch stream does have audio. Yep. Which means our stream chat is lucky enough to get to hear the modern Korean soundtrack, which is pretty sick. Yeah, shout outs to modding this game and putting <laughs> the Korean soundtrack in. Uh, JMD, can you please just replace a random track with Birthday Train for next week? Oh. Yeah. One at random. Eventually it'll who's, come up. Who's to say it's not already here? Who, who's who's to say? I feel like people who aren't me aren't that, that big scumbags. It's Holy Order question marks replacement. <laughs> ah, now that's gotta be uh, Vortex Infinitum. Anyway, up next I believe we have Thello vs. Nuclear Cheese would be my guess? Or are we gonna... All right, uh, Thello vs. Nuclear Cheese. These two have fought in grand uh, grand finals of quite a few of our Boston Blue Beat events. And uh, Jamie, I agree. I also love the Isaka soundtrack, and do think Quicksilver is Abba's best song. Uh, Isaka is a nonsense game, but it does have a pretty great soundtrack. Yeah, I'm taking a look at the bracket to see how we've got things going on our loser side. Uh, we still got a Honey Baked Ham doing some damage, which is good. We do. Uh, Honey Baked Ham, one game away, for, or one win away from a rematch with Jace. So, see if that that gets to happen. Oh, but uh, 
never mind all that for right now. We've got Thello versus Cheese. Uh, Cheese has knocked out a, knocked out Thello of quite a few brackets, but uh, as we saw earlier, Thello, an outstanding player, and uh, this could be anyone's game. Thello has given us plenty of show of their ability to keep very aggressive, dangerous characters out, so I have to prove that once more right here. That's color coordination. Absolutely. Also, we're getting that main character versus main love interest fight. We're getting the Guilty Gear uh, boss fight. Yeah. yeah. That's the Guilty Gear 1. That game is wild. Okay. <laughs> that is the Guilty Gear 1. I don't like playing this. Nope. <laughs> uh, anyway, Fellow takes a pretty commanding life lead over Jeez. But, uh, so bad guy, high damage character, and he did, he's just to keep him as up. It's like that. Nice leap into Michael Sword. Gets a positional advantage back, but... Ooh, he gets opened up by the full screen Grand Viper. Nice Grand Viper, he gets a positional advantage back. <laughs> <laughs> Look, so bad guy could be anywhere on the screen at any point. Wow, that throw was wild looking. Ooh, not quite killing. That's a roughly as much damage as an air combo my justice can do. Ooh, and gets uh gets hit by the counter. We get the the IK on. I would say that was roughly as far into that counter as it could have still been active. <laughs> Absolutely, it's active by the deep nine to twenty eight. It is a very active counter. Ooh, a counter on the six getting opened up by the counter. But gets hit by a gunplay, but no burden off of it. Ooh. And Buff. there's that wild throw. Boom I headshot. I wonder. Boom headshot. Uh, Another really late counter. For those of you joining us recently, uh, Nuclear Cheese, famous back in the Axon Core days, for shouting boom headshot during sidewinder games and majors. You could always tell when he was playing. Far slash. Ooh, that yeah, burst. That burst. Boom Luckily, headshot. And back with some sidewinders. Back nice with sidewinder. though. He's at a pretty big life lead, but fellas just gotta keep keep soul out. Bro, those nuclear. Blast at nuclear cheese. <laughs> nice air combo. Michael Sword away. This is the real king of the nukes here. Extremely, extremely worried about throwing some nukes out. Ooh. And gets hit by the gunflame FRC. Alright. Oh, gold burst right away. Cheese wants all these nukes. He does. Yeah. Boom headshot. Don't need to go for another side fighter. It's like, that's enough. I'm already I would, I would like, I'd like to sidewinder you into the other wall for a while. <laughs> uh, with a huge life lead here. If you're fellow, you've got to be sweating. But, I mean, proving himself unflappable in the past. But my panda bringer. No clean hit on the sidewinder. Do not know what a clean hit is. Track it install. It's not on purpose. He or she is I mess up that off all the time. Not a huge punish, though. Nope, uh, but he spending your meter. Went to negative penalty and is one hit away from uh, being dizzy. Big, big downsides to Dragon Stall. Ooh, he is the counter. She's adjusting to that counter, absolutely. Ooh, and get the gun flame, and Cheese takes the first game over Thello. Strong adjustment by Cheese there. Classic nuclear Cheese. Please select your character. I don't know why I thought Thello had also picked Soul there for a second. I was like, oh, this is a this is a weird counter pick. That'd be great. Just counter counter pick right into the mirror. <laughs> Alright, so definitely like we saw Cheese make some adjustments over the course of that first set. Like Thello seemed like they were starting strong, but you maybe relying a little too, too hard on the counter now that Cheese is adjusting. We will see though. Absolutely. Cheese Cheese the... has handed bringer to over that Michael Sword two or three times. Absolutely. So he's forcing some adjustments out of Thello. Let's see if he actually sees it. Ooh, gets the combo off the counter hit tray. Sidewinder, sidewinder again. Boom headshot. Look at the knock down. Oh, catches Fafnir, Tyrant Rave. My oh. man has not given Thello an inch. Wow, that is a very optimistic burst, perhaps, but let's see if Thello can seize control. Justice can absolutely do it, but this. Ooh, but that's it's a bit of a yeah. Nuclear cheese one round away from taking it over Fellow 2 0. Hey, Fellow, just now without a burst as well for a while, walking up behind that nuke. Luckily, you got the Guts 5 character. Fellow will almost certainly get the get the burst before the round is over. Especially if Fellow's uh, keeping Cheese out with these nukes. Really good nuke placements right now, just covering the exact. 
Absolutely. Yeah, just the road. Bello still sitting there with a green life bar has not been hit once. Another hit. All right. Plenty of here. Rocky Grand Viper. Beat Michael Sword. Ooh, no perfect for Bello, but uh. As the meter, ready. Be ready for a Michael Blit. Or a Furio. Got to feel good about this round. Oh, we get tagged by the land. You do it. Uh, it was definitely supposed to be a wild throw there, but gets opened up by the nuke. Just a nuke right in your face, I love it. <laughs> Counters the round star far slash. Absolutely great to have round star counter as an option once in a while. Absolutely. I think your far slash would be too fast, but ooh, counter hit too heavy into the bandit brainer, but nothing off that. Ooh, bandit brainer goes over Michael Ford once again. <laughs> Looks like Bello might. There aren't a lot of counters in this round. Gotta be careful with that. <laughs> Both players pausing there for a second. Looks like we need to take a breather for a sec, but gets the Bandit Bringer and blocks the burst. Blocks the burst, but doesn't get a big punish. Nice air throw. Alright. Both players are at, uh, a little under half health. Dang, nice Ooh. block. Oh, oh. Gets attacked by the Bandit Revolver, but not. Ooh, gets hit by the second hit of Tyrant Wave. Wonder what that was supposed to be. My guess is a Michael Wave between the hits? That is possibly true. Nice backdash on the wild. The wild throw, but uh, he's a bit of a light. Fox the the corner. Ooh, and then BD's the speed punishing Tyrant Rave is really awkward if you block both heads, and Cheese takes it over Thela. Oh, not quite. This is Winner's Finals. We ain't over yet. Oh, this is Winner's Finals. Yeah. Three out of five. Thela, still running this back. Absolutely. Could be where the comeback begins, but Cheese, obviously. Taking three games in a row off Nuclear Cheese is a tall order. But hey, Thello just uh, trying to give us the most exciting run back we can get. Absolutely, shout out to Thello. Just look at that. Round Star Michael Sword. Absolutely a great option. Yep, walk up menacingly behind a nuclear blast. Can't beat it. Stop. <laughs> nuclear cheese just struggling to get in. Thello's still sitting on a, on a perfect grip of health. But gets tagged by the first slap. Counters the jump on. And this combo isn't quite going to kill because of Gunks, but uh, he's now Just one hit. goes for the Alpha stuff to get the Octima, too. I like it. And Thello takes it, barely getting touched by New Zealand. Thello is absolutely not out. There's that Round Star Grand Viper. I love it. <laughs> it was going to come up at some point. Gunflame's the uh, counter. Interesting. Interesting to counter with a Gunflame headed towards you, perhaps looking for like an IAD following the Gunflame. Ooh, and there's the conversion. Boom headshot. And Boom an headshot. up. Get the, they are clean. Let's do nice sweep. To get the soul the heck away from you and set out some more nukes. She's just patiently trying to get in. Feels weird to the words patient and she's in the same sentence. But, uh, Guess the one up wild throw. The wild throw. No combo. Uh, not quite. Right. Tags the sweep, I think that was, the thumb plant? Yeah, it looks like it. And Fellow, a little bit of an awkward awkward positioning after that 6H. Didn't, jump canceled, didn't continue the combo. Not certain if that was just the positioning being weird, but absolutely, Absolutely. And uh, Nuclear G is now one round away from picking away the finals. Gets the, far, the close slash into another nuke for the knockdown. I get it. Ooh, nukes that bandit bringer. Ooh, block the block the VV. There's that nuke though. Back that. Ooh, does the not and the magic and counters the bandit bringer. Ooh, another counter. And, uh, Bello t takes takes a game over nuclear cheese. Puts himself on the board. Absolutely, like, more and more counters coming out there, but they were working out in that time, so, you know, these players trying to train each other's behavior, but both sticking to their own game plans. Absolutely. But, hey. But, but Della, that was signs of life. Yeah, that was got signs of life, but uh, Nuclear Cheese now has two games to take the, adjustice, or the adjustment over uh, Della, but uh, this is still anyone's game. Yeah. Thank you.
nice use of that aerial, that particular nuke to cut the air dash angle. I don't know what it is, but this stage in particular just always screams as the XX stage. Like this is the stage I picture when I when I see guilt, guilty gear happening. I don't know what it is. Ooh. Nice new kid. That was a phenomenal fighter. This is such a cool character to watch. Ooh, but gets hit by the Grand Viper. Yep. Even, the last yeah, even the low nuke, you cannot. Oh, beautiful use of the counters to stop that band of brain. Absolutely. Ooh, Michael swords the Grand Viper. Bello looking in his element. Bello looks like he's adjusted. Loving the IK Toms. You can see he's feeling himself. Oh, and a, a, a counter on the right stamping. Absolutely, and there's a nice counter. I, I, feel like can, like I feel like you can tell when Fellow is feeling themselves just because the counter comes out more and more. It's like, it's, that's their comfort zone right there. It's like, I, they feel like they're in their opponent's head. Yup. Gets the air combo into the knockdown. <laughs> Whiffing those, with those legs right in front of him. Just do it slightly less Michael Sword in neutral because it got banned to bring it over so many times, perhaps. But, ooh, Grand Viper. Get Grand Viper to under. And another. That is the only one going on. Alright, gets another hit. <laughs> this is a hard boom headshot. Boom headshot. The reverse of Michael Blade. It is still an option. Dang, here we go. Fellow running things back. Mm. All right, well, Fellow taking stuff or taking all these, uh, taking a couple of games back, and now we are going to hell to finish this off. Ah, uh, suddenly glad that I can't actually hear this because the little squishing foot sounds in ha hell always drive me insane. Yes. Mm -hmm. Does um, Justice still make foot sounds even though they're not on the ground? Uh, I don't know. But I know that Hell and Grove uh, both have water, so they're going to be a little Great nukes by Bella. Runs right <laughs> up behind you. Hey, nuclear cheese will always be nuclear cheese. Uses the burst to not keep not get carried by the Volcanic Viper, but now you don't have it. Log throw and no more burst for Bella right now. Runs under the... Runs under the Michael Sword. Guilty Gear uh, is an incredibly confusing game when it comes to hitbox. Sometimes things just don't work. They're the Bander of all the games. So I was trying to escape this corner. It's going to be a little bit tricky. They do have options like Superior, but that is... That can get stuffed pretty easily. Yep. Uh, Justice with no air dash, making it kind of hard to get out of the corner, but... Patiently waiting uh, to... Our first turn to press the button, Fella gets out. But this is gonna do it, and Nuclear Cheese is now one round away from taking it over Fella. Fella, patiently waiting for a nuke to explode on, but not getting the job done. Ooh, there we go! Unfortunately, if you jump, jump round start of Justice, you're not gonna have the meter to be able to block a nuke and then uh, the, the park slam. Right. Using that falling JS, like it's such a great move against other aerial opponents, but the hitbox is so big that even falling is not so bad. Absolutely. Oh, gets tagged by the 5G and boom headshot. Boom headshot. Right up against the wall. Combos off the band. The band There's the off the period. And hits again. Oh, he did, hit hit up did not. Right. Ooh, gets kind of hit by the band of Burnham, but no combo was too far away. Both so characters are relatively low on health. Hard call that with that counter. Run up, Volcanic Viper. Run up, DD. Fellow is now down a burst, but up on health. Ooh, weird IAD combo. Real but, down on meter, though. Fellow really low on options. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and this yeah, is going to hurt. Nuclear Cheese uh, takes it over Fellow, and Nuclear Cheese will now be sitting in grand finals for the rest of our matches to uh, conclude. Yeah, great stuff by Cheese. Like, Fellow is feeling it for a couple of games there, but Cheese composed himself, shut the door. Absolutely great set. <laughs> I agree, Zega. Being below a soul in the air does feel terrible. Ugh, this character is... I mean, it's kind of the beauty of Guilty Gear in a way, but every single character is just like, fighting this character is a nightmare. They are so stressful to deal with. A match can be in your favor, but it's still brutally, brutally, uh, like, strap play, because everybody can be so explosive. Jeez, look at Skeletal Minion there, having broken 4,000 games. 
Dang! I think I'm a bit under 3,000. I've been playing a lot. I got a... Two, 300? Actually, I think I'm approaching five, 500 at this point. I'm trying this not to look fun. at my... Uh, yeah, it is. I'm trying not to look at my Steam list, because Steam will inform me that I'm back up to a full-time job of, uh, of Guilty Gear a week. Yeah, I've been told that I've now played Plus R for 44 hours, and they want me to review it now. But that's not happening. <laughs> Play this game, it's really fun. You can get it for cheap. But alright, so it appears our next matchup is going to be Skeletal Minion versus Zega. Absolutely, uh, we have not seen Zega playing uh, today, but... If Zega. I'm not mistaken, this is a run back from earlier in the bracket. Uh, it is. It is. Ooh, the next two matches are both run backs. You get Skeletal Minion versus Zega, and then Jace versus uh, Honey Baked Ham again. But the benefit of this particular run back is that, unless I'm mistaken, we did not see the first version of this on yes, screen. Yes, we did not we did watch this one. Looking at the bracket, it appears that the first ver the first match they played was two one in Skeletal Minion's favor. So, well, we will see how this one goes. Mm -hmm. Select your Ooh, that's quite a few games I would have loved to watch. The the one downside of uh, of having so many good players in our bracket is uh, we can't stream every match. That then the event would take forever. May versus Abba, let us go. Ooh, rad! I haven't seen a ton of May in Plus R. Neither have I. It's gonna be tricky. I've played a ton against Axic Cormay, but uh. Raid any are on the Dolphin and gets her up. Absolutely. May's such a cool character. Don't tell Alex Smith I said that. I hope he's not watching, but May is a rad character. Alex Smith is watching, we love you. We do love you, but also I hate your character. Goku Moroha, the pressure. Ooh, there's a knockdown, though. May showing signs of life and then getting killed. As you do. Both of these characters are incredibly high damage. This, this has potential to be a very swingy match. Absolutely. Uh, and May, I believe, pretty excellent at stunning people too in, uh, in this version of the game. Has the rad six moves. Alright, just keep that pressure on before Moroha has a chance to be activated, but here we go. Brothers Dolphins. Brothers First Dolphins. just before the key grab. Good stuff, but beautiful positioning gets the key grab to punch the Dolphin. Absolutely. May hop in everywhere, but unfortunately, uh, for me, I do believe SeaWorld is closed right now. Oh, we're getting Moroha. Uh, besides the kill? Wait, the weapon will be dead. Oh, not quite, but one more hit. Ooh, and the first break, Dom's eye. How invulnerable is that? Uh, first break, Dom's eye is not invulnerable at all, but has infinite hits of super armor, so only overdrives and, uh, overdrives and throws will, uh, will hit her out of it. So, uh, as definitely a great tool for finishing people off in a situation like that, then. Absolutely. Uh, May also has a super that is, uh, full super armor. It is the one where she spins around and then throws an orca at you. Uh -huh. I do not know what it's called. Now we have a testament. A testament character swap for Zega. Ooh, rad. Made a testament. Very different character archetypes. I'm certain that this is another, this is a brutal character for Abba to try and rush in on, but gets the throw early. Testament, not the test on defense, so I imagine it. The stealth and then you can get things going. Uh, ooh, good burst. That was going to be a lot of damage. Right back in. Good to Moroha. Good to Moroha. Good to Moroha combo. I still haven't gotten to play stealth. Like, I played stealth on bracket once. It was fun. And brutal. Uh, uh, he's super uh, to get out game. of there. But another throw. Just great throws by stealth. Absolutely catches the poison. Oh, that was a uh, looked like it was going to be a fuzzy, but instead it was a tick throw. Bro. And Skeletal Minion now one round away from taking over. Zeka's got to get make something happen. Zeka beat to get an absorbed testament powers from. <laughs> That's Great Warren to stop sign the pressure a little bit, but go to Moroha. Yeah, lost to Jinx. Oh, runs up, ignoring the EXE. Oh, absolutely, based on that burst. 
but running out of good Murha here. One more knockdown. Will do the Gonsai. Oh, 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 didn't quite get it. That was very unfortunate. That is brutal. That looked yeah, like that was going to be it. Yeah, that Yeshu Beast was almost certainly a misinput. You hate to see it. If you are very probably dead. Oof. Yeah, ooh, very unfortunate drop for uh, Zega, but Skeleton Ugh. Minion will be taking it to us. Uh, yeah, Zega's going to be feeling that one, but good stuff. Got the knockdown, got out of, got the Eba out of the Gokumaraha, but ugh. Dang, would have loved to see an IK. IKs are neat. I do not know what Testament's IK looks like, so that would have been uh, cool. He stabs you, throws you on a table, and then a succubus rips your heart out. Great! Good stuff. Mm. Alright, well, Skeletal Minion will be moving on. And... Absolutely, I'm gonna go look at the name of that IK, actually, because I have that available. Seventh Sign. Seventh sign of a seventh sign. On up next, we have uh, Doc Bok, the HP printer jet, uh, some sort of cooked ham thing. Yes, the ham uh, printer. The ham yeah. printer himself, Doc Bok. <laughs> the ham printer himself, Doc Bok, uh, in a run back against Jace. Skeletal Minion saying that Testament IK is pretty sick. Skeletal Minion, a, ba a boss-ass player, also an Ava player, and I guarantee you have probably seen basically every character's instant kill at some point while you've been playing all the, all the Ava that you've been playing. I'm also pretty familiar with, them, with a lot of them. Abba can't was, yeah, was, I can't uh, imagine you become like one of the best Abbas there is unless you've seen a lot of IKs in your day. <laughs> uh, Abba was the character I tried to learn Guilty Gear on and then uh, swapped. A very good friend of mine who taught me how to play Accent Core back in college was played in ABBA, and so I got a lot of time, a lot of chances to play against that character. Hell of a time. Walking down the uh, right after middle sc school, walking down the streets of Springfield to uh, to uh, go go walk into someone's house and then lose games of Guilty Gear for like four hours back in two thousand eight. Yeah, that's right. My freshman year of college, we played a great deal of Accent Core, and it was awesome. <laughs> Love you, Pete. You should, if you're you're not watching this, but if you are, you should come play with us some more. Guilty Gear is so good. Guilty Gear brings people together. We all we all wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Arxis games right now. That is actually absolutely true. Mm -hmm. For Arxis on we'd, we'd all be playing some other fighting games, like Melty Blood, or... I don't know, there was that cool browser game? Yeah, we would be playing Tough Love, Tough Love Arena. See my beef. <laughs> my uh, beef is actually god the godlike though. I have I played him exactly once. <laughs> I unfortunately had really, uh, really poor rollbacky matchups uh, yeah. when I've tried to play Tough Love Arena, which is a yeah. shame. Uh, the only person I've played Tough Love Arena against is JMD, and it was fun. But Honey Baked Ham here, who is also sounds like a DLC character in Tough Love Arena, is the reason why I play it. <laughs> it's me to do that. Lemon. That. See me in EFC. Anyway, we've got uh, Doc Bok versus uh, Jace. Again, <laughs> this match, again, I'm sure Doc Bok super psyched to see Jace again. <laughs> uh, Doc, this is uh, Doc Bok's favorite matchup. The get back here, you little, you damn kid matchup. Alright, Honey Baked Ham is gonna need to go ham if he has any chance. <laughs> Attempting trying to get, uh, trying to throw this kid onto his lawn. Oh, all right, gets a knockdown. Here, a knockdown. He gets thrown by Jace. And, uh, ooh, gold burst. Gold burst. You have all the meter you could need to try to chase this kid. This down. is what you want to see. The flick does not work there, but uh, Temkin with 100 meter is a scary thing. Yeah, you gotta be there's careful. There's the FRC and there's the knockdown. Heavenly Temkin Buster always in play if you're gonna take to the air. And Bridget loves to do that. Jace does the top buster. That's a, a pretty easy confirm there. Ooh, that's a solid block all the way up until that overhead comes up. Solid blocks until the mix up. Okay. Nice heat knuckle though. This it's could be knuckle. how things get started. Wow, look at that heat knuckle damage on Bridget. <laughs> Always surprised by how big the health variations on characters are in the video game. Alright, good. Oh, and there it is! Nice back Ooh, dash on the DP, DP, but no punish. Uses the burst. <laughs> Another burst. Oh, but DP's the JD. 
on the fortress. Oh. Dang, get the air thrown into the rocket. Another air throw, dude. This is on point with the air throw. All, every time we see Jace on screen, they are air throwing people. Another one! Let's saw rocket ship. Where's that yo you're just sitting there? Medicine. What? I love the little bits bits of oh, right. You can see yeah. Bridget. You get that tiny little blinking string so you can remember where the yo yo is. Thanks. Go for your nice throw by the by Dockbok though. Good throw with the two K on that. Jason a large life lead here. Just kinda running his game. Dockbook gets the gets the side hack. No combo off it in this game. Uh, it is long fast, but... Ooh, he's nice. not dead. Alright. Dang, he got so much damage. Slide has uh, right their face, but... Uh, there's the other Bridget Super that, again, <laughs> probably has a name, uh, but I do not know it. She, she, walk the dog. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I assume the thing that makes the yo-yo roll across the screen is probably... Uh, Maintenance Disaster is the name of that Super. Same. Uh, <laughs> I too am a maintenance disaster. Alright. Game one to Jace. Let's see if this honey baked ham is tr is truly going to be cooked and the <laughs> evening will be over. Well, that's the loot life. Someone's gonna get cooked this game. Alright, just blocks on round start. A conservative round start from Black Black. Absolutely. Well, gets opened up, but definitely has the health it takes for right First is spent, avoids Roger, tries to get that slide head for an opening, but not. Gets hit by the wall. Ooh, but tags Bridget with the JF spot. Gets volleyball spike to the ground, but fights right back out. Absolutely. But, uh, Jace just it definitely seems to know the matchup more, and uh, I think that's the matchup is quite favorable for Bridget. Uh, not, not to take anything away from Jace, Jace is a phenomenal player. This fight is very well. Another slide head successful. Give them. There we go. It gets the combo. Can't be dropping combos at this point in the bracket, unfortunately. Especially in a matchup like this, you gotta make it. Take advantage of every time you get hands on this character. Mega Fist, RC. The get Ooh, the there's the Look at that damage. Ooh, Ooh first, first the out. That heat knuckle may well have been enough. But, uh, Tempton with the light blue right here jabs Bridget out of the. Ooh. Rage for the round! Rage for the round. Alright. No burst on Jason. Mega Fist knocked out. This is where we don't want to see the dock, but unfortunately. Blaze Blake up. I believe when Bridget threw up that yo yo into the sky from the ground. Yeah. Blaze Blake wake up my ballpark 20 frames or something? Uh, I guess the buff though. Quite a fair bit of damage. Nice. Back to Good wake up back there. Good start and pressure damage. Uh, backing off when it doesn't make the fall out. The killing oh. machine is here. There is the killing machine. Here it is. Seems like Doc has found a found a window for slide heads in this matchup though, when the rolling yo-yo is coming out. Absolutely. Gets hit by the uh, by the starship, but not a super high damage DP. Uh health bar is about me, but also open the tempting up, get a bit of damage and this is like Jade already adjusting to that particular Absolutely. slide head timing. Ooh, gets hit by a Mega Fist though. Oh, and getting grabbed. And adjusting to the delayed wake up timing and is right there with the Buster. Great Absolutely stuff by Duck. Not showing life, and we are now 1 1. Please, uh, doesn't matter how bad, it doesn't matter how bad a matchup is, uh, but as long as you stick to the core grappler tenants and pick them up and put them down, you will, you'll get there eventually. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I'm distracted by Honey Baked Ham slowly <laughs> sliding to the side in the stream layout. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> Alright. One to one. This is for all of it. This is for all of the marbles. Yo-yos, I guess. Another great get to take Bridget's yo-yos when you win, right? Pink slips. Um, <laughs> all the meter on the box side because of that gold burst. In and a smart gold burst too. tempkin has got enough health that he will almost certainly see the first again. Yeah. Throwing these slide heads out, I mean, why not if you can get one? Absolutely, but a gold burst on Jace's side too, and it looks like we're going to see a killing. It's so hard to block the super. 
picks up Anita for one more, but nope, we're gonna get a full strike back of Roger. There's a dead end. Let's get a knockdown. It's a slide head. Ooh. He has to do an early jump to get the space, but uh, just quite get there. Jason, Jason with the life lead, just kind of playing, playing away from Pog. Jumping around with a yo-yo right on top of the top of the Good FRCs. Doc is uh, blocking well, but it's not, not quite enough right now. He really needs to make something happen. That timer is tick, tick, ticking down. It's not going to take much, but he needs to get something. Just having the yo-yo on top of him means that I, one hit of any Hammer Falls armor can just be seized immediately. Absolutely. Jack Roger is much more than that. He's just top of And Doc is getting a little down slowly right here. So now 10 seconds yeah. left. Fox, I don't know how much it matters here. He's just got to hold, hold forward and hope for the best here. Oh, went for it. And no, we get the timer scam. Hi, up. Respect the effort, but now we got set point for Jace. You I remember that. Hold on. Now, this taking really lively. Flying every which way. Air dashing forward for that slide head, recognizing the Doc just wants that knockdown. Absolutely, Jace, uh, changing things up. Blocks the first two. Yeah, Jace That's taking a much more aggressive take. And it looks like it's working. Jace taking a commanding lead in this lap, or, uh, in this round. If Jace wins this, uh, Jace will be moving on and Doc will be knocked out. And yeah, just kind of punching Roger. Oh, get the knockdown. Oh, this is the knockdown. Sign the got to do. No, unfortunately, it does not punish the start yet. That, that was, that looked like it was Doc's win. Looks like it's a tricky, it's tricky to get a Buster Punish or anything of that sort from Pot here. Just gets pushed out enough by that defense. I believe you were supposed to F the, uh, the first couple hits over the last couple of hits. Oh. Right, hit the hammer fall. Oh, gets the knockdown. Does Up not extend. extend. That would have yeah. been very bad. There's the Pot Buster. Break Buster, here we have it. <laughs> Judge Gauntlet! Or maybe that's all of the it. armor in the world! Alright, we Judge have Double Luigi! Incredible. Uh, double Luigi, unlike Chip and he uses the overhead stage, which is just a normal Luigi in a Mario. And we got Corn. Oh, Ooh, with DP, but. Ooh, and a 5B! Doc out of that bad gets chased out of that corner situation and oh wow the heavenly heavenly unfortunately did not have a combo. That is brutal. <laughs> that is unfortunate for yeah, Bordock. And got near BT you can just kinda kind of DC and lost a big last up. You kinda of hate this you kinda of hate this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Absolutely. Oh, and oh. there's the maintenance disaster. <laughs> and the just for to pick up off though. Great flick on the Roger though, signs of life here. Absolutely. Jace with a pretty hefty life here, but the Tumpkin just needs one or two throws. Unfortunately, in the game, this is a matchup where you wish you have like ICP on YRC just to get across the screen, but that is not, not in this game. Life, you do not have YRC. Alright, but there we go, using the Heavenly to get across the screen anyway. Absolutely, but nope, Jace is just going right on back to the other side of the screen. Yeah, you can get across the screen, but Bridget can stay off of it. That's just rough and stuff. And throw, and throw to finish. It takes over Doc, but a good set. Yeah, great study, great adjustments, but Jace just could not be chased down quite enough. Absolutely. Dang, some great play this tournament so far. Alright, so that will put us at top four. It will. It'll be Jason Skeletal. Jason Skeletal for loser semifinals. Fourth place. Absolutely. Battling for the honor of a, for, for taking for taking it back to fellow Skeletal fighting to get the run back. Yep. Uh, winner of that will fight Thello in losers uh, finals, and then grand finals will be Nuclear Cheese versus the winner of that. All right. <laughs> All right, well, now we have Skeletal Minion against yet another character who <laughs> gets some space down. and get the uh, heck out of there. But one single hit from uh, ABBA, and Bridget will just completely dis disappear. Wet tissue paper before that gigantic key. Ooh, yo, yo, this is going to be fascinating.
Shout I'll out. admit I've never watched this play this matchup be played. <laughs> Shoutouts to Paracelsus, uh, Abbas. He, he's just having a bad time always. I mean, he does yeah. not want to be here. This lady not... picked him up. She won't put him down. It's hard out here for a sentient key. <laughs> it is hard out here for a sentient key. No sentient locks around. There's a giant handcuff on Bridget's, um, uh, Bridget's though, so, like, maybe <laughs> there's nothing here. It's also no It's the ball, I think. Oh, another one. There's the Maroha. Well, there's the wake up, which, it's gotta be a, a valuable tool in a matchup like this. Absolutely. First whiff. Not it. Oh, and there's the, the Goku. Probably not is dead, but good the lord that was that red light spot. Nice blocks. And just flying out of there. I want nothing. Shout out to uh, Jefferson Star Starship. Thanks to Bridget. I am now listening to you both this set. You are dead. <laughs> Dang. Gets clipped by the uh, Apple Car Slap. Alright, round one to Skeletal. There we go, Jay. Trying to set some stuff up here. Absolutely, fine. This is not a matchup where you can make a mistake. Air throws by both players, just bringing it. I mean, obviously in a game where you want some knockdowns, Jason's... Nope. Jason needs one more knockdown. Still needs one more knockdown, but there's the Goku. Back to three. Roger possibly to hit Jason's life. Oh, and the throw! <laughs> Look at this damage off throw, everybody. Jeez. Friendly reminder that that is prorated 50%. <laughs> Ouch. Alright, well, throws to get corner po or favorable positioning back. Air throw into the bus on Roger. Yep. Oh, me and my killing machine, but I uh, don't get any knock against the run. Yeah, great throw by Skeletal to just avoid that whole situation entirely. Absolutely. There's one knockdown. Oh, gets tagged by the J8. Looks like he hit some sort of force break. Ooh, ooh burst Both there. Players. Trying to keep Basically. Ooh. Ooh. Gets Sneaky overhead. Yep. Frost up. I believe so. And Skeletal well, Minion takes the first game over Jace. When when that could have been a cross up or could have not, then I mean it basically is, because you're still guessing which way you're blocking. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, but Jace definitely already from round one to round two was looking like they had some more answers, so. Absolutely, and I believe these two have played many times. Oh I am sir. Both regulars in the uh uh, that Guilty Gear online tournament circuit. Buzzsaw Roger, just not quite where, the, where Jace needed to be. Oh yeah, Jack and Roger. Ooh, look at that damage. Oh, any, any hit is going to hurt. Oh, there's the unblockable. But, uh... Star is blinking. Yep, and this should do it. Get that Abba Air Super. Which is another move that I have no idea what it's called. But it is. That yeah. Ride the key. Alright, <laughs> right, Maroha active once more. Goku time. Gets the ball bounce. It take you back to the other corner. No, hold on, I'm getting there. Ah, uh, that Persever. move is called destruction. Great. That's <laughs> 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 Wow, I, I missed an entire round looking for that. <laughs> that. Yeah, absolutely. Just skeletal taking care of business to secure the right back. A shout outs to the Dust Loop Wiki that made the same bad joke that I did because the description under that super is kind of like Ride the Lightning, except awful. Well, that's perhaps why you only see Skeletal Minion use it to finish an air combo that will likely finish the round. <laughs> so there you go. Alright. Great stuff by Jace. We'll take fourth place in this tournament. Hey, we'll run that. Chase taking doing doing really great and then unfortunately taking a couple of losses to some very aggressive characters. But you can't be you can't be mad about getting stuff by Skeletal Minion there. Yeah, Skeletal Minion and Nuclear Cheese, who are currently 
e- at, at least third and first, but very possibly our grand finals matchup. But we, not if Fellow has something to say about that. Oh. Absolutely. What, who appeared and then disappeared from the from the lobby? <laughs> oh, did JMD kick Fellow? Is that what happened? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just saw the too many taps when that happened, so I didn't know if that had accidentally uh, somehow. <laughs> Uh, but now we're getting the Bell over Skeletal Minion rematch that I, I imagine everyone here has been looking forward to. I am absolutely excited for this. After the set they put on previously, this is going to be Absolutely, fire. and the winner of this gets to find nuclear cheese on the top of his mountain. I want to see if Skeletal is just like... This fellow, as JMD pointed out, is the first person to take a set off of Skeletal Minion, so... Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. Bello definitely knows this matchup. Ooh, gets air thrown though. Does not get hit by the overhead, but does get hit by the command thrust. And yeah. now we've got those, those scary ABBA fuzzies. Uh, luckily, Bello pushing ABBA full screen away. Michael sort of grabs him. ABBA's right back in that corner. Oh, okay. goes the unblockable into the Goku. But blocks the, uh, blocks the combo with Mohaba. Gets hit by the speed. This is probably going to kill him. Yeah. Back up five. Yep. Skeletal takes the first round. Ooh, JK Donkey Jump pad. Michael Sword, Michael Sword. Who gets a sweep into a key grab though? Huh, did not know you could slide through the sweep. I thought the slide was on the upper bottom. There you go, big throw there. Get that Ooh, I'm Goku! Try to, try to Michael Sword and Goku. It doesn't quite work that one has. That's a ton of it. You're not dead, but this is absolutely going to hurt. It's very nice good. XP. Ooh, uh, that is going to be enough XP. Oh, and air throws his phone! And then unblockable, and Skeletal Minion takes the first game of Loser's Final. That was several incredibly filthy things in a row. Fantastic. Great stuff by Skeletal. Stole his soul. Fellow owes Skeletal Minion a dollar now. Skeletal Minion not not psyched about being sent to loser's bracket by this player. I agree, Flack. I am just shouting O oh, at my monitor. My roommate is in the next room and he's gotta be bugged with me. Alright, so great, great stuff there, but Fellow, of course, has proven themselves to be a very resilient player. Absolutely. Uh, and I do believe this is just 3 out of 5, so Fellow will has the round. A familiar round start for Skeletal, getting an early go. Uh, get, gets the flow. Incredible flow, just as uh, I think protected the largest flow rate in the game with ground and air. And second yeah. knockdown, gets hit by the empty dawn, but I just go to the swap back to normal mode. Ooh, no but stop, but but has to use blood back to get that done, but does get it. But right back in the Rohama, blocks the sweep. Ooh, Michael Blake the sweep. Gets tagged by that far slash giant destroying hitbox. Just getting shoved in. That counter hit dust. This is this gonna be a chunk of damage. Looks like that was supposed to be a reset in the throw, and this should kill the combo drop. So it's sitting on one leg. There's the Goku run up FB Dawn side. DP is as Zaba is running towards him, but oh, what are you gonna do? Die probably. A couple of crashing K's there. Absolutely. Nice. Nice, man. That's Try to do as much fun. damage as you can before you've got to deal with Murahama. Absolutely, just like, you, like, Abba's health is a resource, so if you can Absolutely. Force. Speaking of Abba's health, uh, it's just gonna start going down as Abba's hit Moroha mode. So is Justin. Ooh, he's hit, bro. Pile of damage. Swap yep. back. Abba's gonna go in for some kind of damage. Gets the burst out. Ooh, gets another hit, though. Plenty of meter for Goku. This is not gonna uh, be this is probably gonna be busy the next hit here. Yep. This is the round. Skeletal Minion takes it and is now 2 0 of Othello. Skeletal Minion seemingly have adju having adjusted immediately. Playing super commanding here. Yep. Getting surgical, getting in, getting transformed, taking collecting bodies. Have to imagine that Skeletal is familiar with this and probably every matchup in this game. Absolutely, but fellow again, somewhat. 
unflappable, was in this situation in winners finals and nearly ran it all the way back. So absolutely, see, this could be the beginning of another fun, fun comeback. Can never count count fellow out. Great dash underneath that Michael Sword though. Absolutely, but the early Maraha mode, and this is going to be a combo into the corner. Get those rack illusions. Look at that damage. Ooh, tries to set up the unblockable, but he's got the chicken block. <laughs> nice blocks, it looks sweet. Uh, that 2D into the sneak was almost certainly supposed to be Michael Sword. It looks like it's not just me that makes that mistake. I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of meter on the other side, though. Get the knockdown. Another Ooh, by Five H Donzai into the air combo. Ooh, throw on the other side. Great side switch. Knock down the corner. And there's that Goku, and that's just the counter in this one. Pretty sure. Yeah. You nope. Oh, Dropped drop. out, but gets hit by the day. Skeletal minion now one round away from taking a 3 0 over Fella. Ooh. Man, the key grab Maroha in the corner. Familiar, but still unfortunate situation. Tries to jump out. minion just trying to knock Fella out before Fella can make any adjustments, and it looks like it's working. Fella already at less than half life now. He gets. Blocks the goal. Uh, still active. The first strike dogs on. It's gonna be a pile of damage. And one more mix. One mix up's gonna do it. Fella with both burst and meter, but absolutely. Oh, burst there. Oh, fella's gonna make it happen. He's gotta make it happen here. Oh, oh great move. There's the raw combo. Gets attacked by the first slash, but he doesn't attack. But there's the rack up. Yep, Ooh, yeah, yeah. burst, and that's it. Skeletal Minion takes it over Thello. Skeletal Minion will be advancing grand finals to fight nuclear cheese. This Thello with no option had to spend the burst because, I mean, what are you going to do? But obviously, Skeletal very experienced and knew it was there. Absolutely. And now we've got nuclear cheese versus Skeletal Minion. Uh, played a couple times before, I believe, and I think Skeletal Minion has, uh, has won in their previous matches. Indeed, but... Still, will always be fun to watch. Let's see what we've Absolutely. got. Absolutely, but can never count nuclear cheese out against anybody. Sometimes, sometimes you wake up and just sidewander people. I really love that. Like every other player who is like we've seen our like these late tournament rounds is playing thousands of matches. Please, nuclear Let's cheese, three hundred just mm -hmm. shows up, plays tournaments, goes does other things. <laughs> Ask me for sets and destroys me every so often. <laughs> what a what a hero! Love the chase. And here we go, grand finals, guys. Let's go. Never change, Steve. Heaven or hell. All right, hell so I mean, you've been the round star. We've got that first slash into gunplay, counter hit, but no combo. She's just trying to stay outside of normal mode out of range. Gets tagged by the six heavy. Now we got Moroha. We got a knockdown on the east side. That yeah, five another one. Just collecting knockdowns, nicely done. If anyone's gonna IK this man, it's gonna be cheese. Which is a gold burst the Goku. Does not care, but gets tagged by the FD Dawn like Speaking of does not care, the force break down. Ooh. Old meter on Cheese's side though, and oh, Skeletal knows it. Ooh, and we get the two grabs and two grabs, but ah, uh, Tyrant Ram would no. not try to not in the rain. Ah, but the second time. Yes. Yeah. Still have enough meter for another. Alright. Ooh, jump punch doesn't quite get uh, it. Uh, oh, shit. Blocks the Goku. Just look at. Ooh. Attack. You're dead. Ooh, boy. Close, close round. Very close. Absolutely. Nuclear G is going to the 6 heavy gun play. Playing patient. Sitting back, chucking some fire, but gets tagged again by 6 heavy. Ooh, Nuclear G is one hit away from Dizzy. Just trying to stand back. He, don't, he doesn't back up part of this. Another dump. He gets hit by the... Or, uh, dump like it's the back jab. What goes to a riot stamp. I really love it. Just Riot Stamp against the Goku Maroha Abba. Riot Stamp, I believe, 14 frames uh, in the corner. Very fast over there. Uh, but this combo will probably dizzy. Nope, not quite, but no, it's going back to the Tyrant Ray. Nuclear T is a pretty large health deficit, wow. especially against Maroha Abba there. And again, tagged by the sweep for the kill. Nuclear T's not blocking low. 
Is that a... I'm not 100% familiar. Is that a force break that, like, non-transformed Abba has? That, like, yeah, very fast... Uh, yeah, it is the force break version of the slime. Of her, uh, slime. I believe it is a full body in foam, and it is her, her best tool to, to get through nonsense. Absolutely. And great use of it, of course, there by Skeletal to can seal game one. Absolutely, but Skeletal's got a large mountain to climb. Again, tagging uh, Dizzy with the Dizzy six already! Really dizzy, jeez. Six heavies, Dizzy modifier's got to be Absolutely, and that was strange. Stuck to the wall and Dizzy shortly after, but DP's out. Sometimes he's got a volcanic fight. Two knockdowns into this Kokomoroha already. I have DP, but uh, one more knockdown. Oh! We're coughing up blood here to go back into normal mode. And here is that wild throw. Boom headshot. Lost the follow up. 5G boom headshot. Wow. Boom headshot. Lost the ender, but Texas is the ender revolver anyway. Nuclear. Right. It, he's clear to be with it. just caring less. Who knows? Getting the flow going. Alright, great stuff by Cheese. Get it out. Gunflame, pick up, Sidewinder, Sidewinder once more. Absolutely. Damn, look at that! Yeah. The knockdown. The triple Sidewinder, you love to see it. Absolutely. Ooh, too juicy, heavy too heavy. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta burst it there. If you want a chance to continue living. Yeah, nuclear key is still sitting there with a green life bar. Ooh, Ooh he gets tries the, the, yeah, tries the 5k in here, but it's a gigantic key in his face. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay, Riot stamps. Gets tagged by the counter hit J8 from normal mode, and we got a Moroha Abba sitting here. Get two blood packs to go Goku. Dead angle whip. And hey, it's me, Goku. Goku close enough to hit that gun, hit him out of that gun flame, and this is gonna hurt. Absolutely. So like huge chunk of damage. Oh, Goku you're dead. Get the kill. All right. Well, we got another final game of this round, or final round of this game. <laughs> Nuclear cheese keeps getting tagged by the six heavy. Which I mean if the previous round was any indication, that's got some dizzy dizzy implications, but absolutely he's gotta start changing up that round start. One more knockdown here. Oh first out yeah. first. Sorry, trade skeletal favorite in that trade. Goku activated. Ooh, that was that was a good block from This is gonna be a wild chunk of damage. But Nearly full yeah, meter. Set up, but back is backwards, so not the no punish on the ground. And again, hit by the sick heavy. He's gotta Ooh. stop getting attacked by that. And this is gonna do it. Slash back the first, but no punish. Worst break, downside. What is going on? <laughs> this tyrant <is> right <laughs> <in> here. <laughs> oh my god, we got the knockdown. <laughs> oh my god, what is happening? Oh, uh, get attacked by the five heavy. That was. Complete clown shoes round. <laughs> and What's going on? Please, <laughs> that's my uh, that, that was, was nonsense. <laughs> that was wild. <laughs> A lot of things just happened all at once. <laughs> many, many things just happened. Watching our viewers drop yeah. down from like thirty to twenty-five, someone was disgusted. This game is happening at you guys pretty fast, but <laughs> <laughs> stick with it. Life comes at you free. <laughs> The you most guilty gear five seconds of my life. I've never seen a burst be, I've never seen a burst be slashed back before, and then I've never seen that also not be punished before. <laughs> Looks sometimes guilty. <laughs> that's it, that's the whole sentence. Alright. Ooh, there's the counter gun right. Boom, Boom, Always so dissatisfying to watch a soul get a clean hit on both sides in the same combo. Yeah, as much as I'm kind of glad he doesn't have to do the clean hit to keep the game, Sidewinder loops are rad. <laughs> Very good. Ooh, I don't quite really catch the TV. But no real punish, but here we are. This is going to be a pile of damage. Go do. Go do. Oh, tax out, gets out of the corner. But look what at all that got? damage. Run up Donzai. Jump A. More Don fries. Nuclear Chief just desperately trying to get out of the corner. Heck out of there. Ah, but Force break Don's eye. You're well. Oof. Super brutal. Alright. Ooh, 5k's to jump heavy. Does not get the team hit on the sideline. Hey, did something there. Antio the jump heavy. Does not get hit by the 6k. 
Ooh, crap. Oh, it's a fire. Ooh, it's a key through the back. Crap. Ooh, catch the back dash with the key grab. Good stuff. Absolutely. Anti air fire pay. And again, no even on the sideline. That is okay. He's at a pretty standard life right, right now. He gets tagged by the force break Dom's eye. Get some butt loops going. <laughs> Interested in changing that life lead situation, but hasn't. <laughs> it hasn't yet. Nuclear T is blocking. <laughs> Goes to the tire again, again, the T is too far away from the tire break. First oh, thing, get your the over the kill. kill. This Heart is probably gonna kill. Yeah, <laughs> it's helped the wow. nuclear cheese. And we get the, that the run back. The reset. We set the bracket. <laughs> Dang. Very, very close, but Cheese not quite able to secure that game to keep himself alive in that winner's side set. So here we are. We're all in Lucy's bracket now. And Nuclear Cheese gotta make some adjustments to deal with this. Yeah, no, he, he will Nuclear not. Cheese has never made enough <laughs> Ron Howard Void. <laughs> he will simply grab Viper harder. He will play the game even more intensely, and it will it'll hopefully work. We joke, but Nuclear Cheese has been hitting training mode, actually practicing this matchup. Oof, brutal though, that burst is gonna hurt. There's a burst punch. There's the Grand Viper. I can stop the Grand Viper. I'm just gonna be a pile of damage in the Ghost Black Oh, Of course, Ron does not care. Yeah, Ron does the right and this may dizzy or just kill. What? You dead? Oh, back up. Nope. And boom headshot. Boom headshot. Get the knockdown. Looks like Dava? Yeah. Yeah, that's what's good. It is reliable. It is working for him. <laughs> Ultra instinct ABBA. Oof. <laughs> the Maraha huh? went again. That familiar start. Blinking oh, car already. Ooh, this is gonna be a fair chunk of damage. Goku! Oh, yep, gets hit again. Look at that damage. So bad guy, very close to this. Look at the double orbs. We're not dead yet, but... We're dizzy. First has gotta feel bad, but you have to do it. JH with Volcanic Viper, this could be how it starts. Oh, Tyro Raid. Ooh, catches the speed way very late. Bandit Revolver, OTG, weird pickup there. Is that force break oh. out of the corner? Get a kinky grab. I'm gonna guess Tyrant Rave yet. That's, that's one way to be able to punish Tyrant Rave. Be behind it. Mm -hmm. That sometimes works. Tyrant Rave hits reasonably far behind that. That might just be an uh, excerpt, though. Alright, well. Game one of the post reset set, also two Skeletal Minion. Absolutely. Skeletal Minion looking to take the 6 0 against Nuclear Cheese. Still a tall order, though. Nuclear Chi is absolutely never out of it. <laughs> Chi just has to turn on that real life dragon install. Preferably not the in game one, quite yet, though. Get that, no. get that Guilty Gear 2 dragon install going. 96 p A reference for nobody else. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they're just real. <laughs> There's the 6 p Ooh, counter hit, jump heavy, just going to wreck it. Ooh, but that's the key grab. He's still sitting there with that Pac-Man hitbox. Yeah, we got an opportunity here for Cheese. Keeps the Absolute pressure on. Grand Viper. Skeletal blocks the mix up. Nice, two H. Two heavy, Bandit Bringer whiff, but 5k anyway. Go go three frame buttons. Oh, and this is going to be the transformation. Yeah, wow. Knocked down Aroha. Nice dead angle. Good dead angle. Got a five heavy there. Ooh, volcanic viper. That's not Ooh. knocked out number two. That is knocked out number two. There it is. Nuclear Doesn't cheese. have enough meter to activate Goku to reset the meter. So absolutely. Oh, oh the throw to reset the round, perhaps. Uh, not quite going to kill. <laughs> that super may actually suck. Who knows? <laughs> uh, I believe it is. Wow. wow, Nuclear Cheese takes a round over Skeletal Man. Damn, as we said earlier, soul above you. Awful. Alright, great stuff by Cheese. Signs of life here. Gotta respect, Cheese has been playing the same color since I've since I met him. Okay. Like 12 years ago. Consistent, I love it. 
Oh, oh, I actually blue soul and an axe of He's got the volcanic viper, knockdown number one. Oh, tries to go for that cool far slash uh, short play sidewinder. Deal, but. Well, cool, but. Uh, that might work out. Ooh, gets the knockdown. Oh, but it's normal mode out of now. Still, damage yeah. can. Standard revolver, but it's not out in the corner. Wild throw! Wild throw. It's, it's gonna make something happen, it's gonna make this happen. I mean, there's a burst on, burst is still in play, when will that come out, if at all? Absolutely. So, Dang! Ooh, and Use the gun flame. puts himself on the board, 1-1. One, one. Great gun flame, knowing that that blood pack was likely to be used there. Absolutely. Good stuff by Cheese. Maybe, perhaps, dodge the bleeding a little bit after Skeletal had a lot of momentum built up. Absolutely, but... And taking that one round after your opponent's like won several sets just to like yeah, break just, that momentum is so important. Yep. Yeah, now we're in a first to two. Yeah. What do we got? Taking it to this the spooky stage. One of the many, I guess. Spooky stage. Love this stage. Love that man on his horse. Specifically. Wait. What's his, what's his hope he's having? Yeah. And Damn, another another gun frame on the bandit winner. You're gonna get the knock down. She's doing some great stuff here. Having a gun flame on top of Abel when she's activating her on. Absolutely. Oh, it's hit by the throw. Ooh, drops the combo. Goku activation block. Ooh, she's getting hit. Well. By it hits so far. That's blocking that pressure. It's so scary. But great dead end. end. One knockdown does not get hit by the force of the on side. Uh, but she is going to get transformed back. And back into Moroha we go. Our bar is still real high, too. Absolutely. Nuclear two gets counter hit by the JH, but no combo. Ah, what a, what a wild cross up. Ooh, Riot Stamp! Riot Stamp! Oh, man. Stop from the oh, man. not want to let Nuclear Two do his thing, and that's probably yeah. gonna do it. Yeah, Skeleton Minion really takes the round there. Hey. This beautiful, like, pressure reset just, like, continues to let you do something into my armor to just do Absolutely. It. There he is. There's the man with his horse. He's just watching. He's having fun. 5D whips. Get him back on screen there. <laughs> Get him back on screen. Going to the best corner. Ooh, there's the blockable set. The Grand Viper's out. Nuclear just does not care. Gets tagged by the Donzai. Uh, Abba. Abba very close to him. Uh, to one knockdown. I believe you're out one knockdown. Yeah, one knockdown. Gets hit by the jump age. This is gonna turn Oh, that first is gonna hurt. This is gonna kill Nuclear Cheese, right. actually. And Skeletal Minion uh, is 2-1 over Nuclear Cheese now. One more game to take this tournament for Skeletal, but Nuclear Absolutely. Cheese... Absolutely. One more game for Skeletal to come over and once again knock, uh, knock New England out of their own tournament. Cheese, the defender of our territory. He is. We have several, but Cheese... We got this. We're, we're all putting our energy behind cheese, cheese right now. Everyone, raise your hands. All the way up there in New Hampshire. Hopefully, you're doing for that. Or slash round start. Love it. Be a great tyrant. Throwing some gun flames out there. Just put some fire on the screen so this character cannot dash at you. Nice. Super cheese. Parts of that. You want a tyrant? Ooh, and the, the gun flame hits. Clashes with the six and that's how you beat that, I guess. <laughs> I mean, given how many or how bad counter getting counter hit by that six eight. Yeah. I mean hey, we take those. Spicy. Throwing some more fire. There's the ooh, does not quite get the uh the knockdown of organic life. Hate to see it. Ooh, uh -huh. there's a scoop. Yep, nice. one more scoop, and he's pretty close. There's the there's the Goku Go back But there's a knockdown right away. Knockdown. And another oh, one. Good stuff. He's here, but gets caught. Oh, oh and Iron Grave! Taking around over Skeletal Minion. Skeletal Minion sticking their hand in the fire. Cheese all too happy to provide more. Absolutely. Nuclear Cheese is the soul player. Sidewinder. Boom, headshot. Boom, headshot. Another one. Headshot. Get the knockdown. Three rep Sidewinder. Oh. Nuclear Cheese has gotten his turned on that dragon install, but we're gonna... Oh, ooh, drops the throw. Aloha. He's under the 6th heavy. He runs up wild throw, throw. we're gonna get some Aloha. It is time for Aloha mode, but... And we got a volcanic yeah. viper. Ooh, ooh great. He's trying to go to the new sideliner, but gets attacked by the 2S. Now the 2S is a giant hitbox. Ooh, yeah, and this is scary. This isn't quite gonna kill, but, uh... He's gonna put this... Ooh, 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 ooh
you wow that was a good interaction right the there way. This is some heat guilty gear happening. Time for you to play Dragon all over Trace with the fire. Gets caught by the fireball between the head. Who wants to run up the first? Gets hit by the record. Skeletal Minion now one round away from taking this whole thing. What is going on? Is this even guilty gear anymore? I feel like he's taking so big territory. Alright, Maroha activated, but one knockdown already in the books. Ooh, look at the counter hit from Heavy, this is not where Nuclear Trigger wants to be, in the corner, lots of damage. It's JH though, first oh, gets up top by the staff here. So much. Tyrant Raid doesn't quite catch the back yet, so he's in an okay position. He gets tagged by the stump hat. Here's the Goku activation. Nice! We do for the, uh, for the staff Oh, we're running yeah, for the Are you dead? This, this is dead. 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 takes it over nuclear cheese. Six to one. Wow. Just some incredible guilty gear there at the end, though. Some wild stuff happening. Big bets That's all over the place. Play. And Ugh. Skeletal Minion is your champion of this weeklet. You had a good time. Hey, join next week. We do this every week. We're getting some good people. This is some great guilty gear. Uh, and Dang. again, for those of you that play Blaze Blue, we've got Blaze Blue tomorrow at 6 p.m. Uh, we'll, I will throw a link in the the Twitch chat. Come play some, uh, come play some Arxis games. Yeah, please do. It is just, it is a, has been an absolute blast doing these online absolute Blue Beat tournaments blast. through this entire entire pandemic situation. And Plus R has been a godsend for that as well. Absolutely, Guilty Gear keeping us together. Yeah, no, it's been it's been really great. Uh, we've been running these events this year, so we are going to keep uh, running this weekly. Um, we are going to uh, run Exert on the last weekend of the month as well, um, and we're going to try to time it so that uh, we're going to work on the timing so it's not exactly what Frosty is going on too. But um, uh, we we are going to try to support uh, all the various gear communities that are coming up. We've got stuff in the works that we're talking about for when Strive launches. So um, the New England Anime FGC is 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 here for the long haul, as it were. Uh, we really appreciate y'all uh, showing up and tuning into our events. So yeah, anybody who wants to come by, like we've this rollback has allowed us to cast a wider net, and we love to have as many anybody show up. To these sick ass events yep. it is so much fun to watch this game be played yeah no, and yeah we can't wait for uh energy yeah asian dave uh, used to come by uh during locals but he hasn't he hasn't turned out for the the, the new net play world but uh once we're back you know we'll be back there we'll be running plus r in person there's no reason not to anymore so um until then uh craig tails thank you so much for uh doing commentary uh, thanks to the uh, rest of the New England Anime FGC, uh, works behind the scenes tirelessly, uh, kind of keeping all this stuff going. Um, and uh, we will see you tomorrow night for uh, Blaze Blue for JMD. Uh, I'm signing off. Take care, y'all. Bye.